Do 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 I'm gonna cry says Grog Unicorn. What about Grug Unicorn? That has a a Zweihander instead of a horn. Why was my stream muted? Because I muted I muted the stream on in my uh in my browser and it mutes it for everybody. Next bit. Let me move on to the next bit, sorry. The next bit has been called. Uh oh. Hope you've been doing well, Joe. I have I have not been doing well. But there's nothing really bad going on, just uh just terrible, terrible sleep. Terrible sleep. I think I'm on the worst run of my life. Which I feel like I've said before this year, so I guess this year is just terrible for sleep. It's a, it's a really bad year for sleep. Good news, I just finished my Hatsune Miku cover of the song from this game. That's good. That is good news. I'm curious, as a fellow narcoleptic, have you ever found anything that helps? Nope. I find that exercise helps significantly with kind of like daytime fog and just just being able to concentrate, but that might not be narcolepsy, that just might be just being a person. Um, there's nothing at all that helps with like staying asleep and, and falling asleep or anything like that, except like maybe maybe trying to do sudoku on my phone because that's what i use my phone for um at bedtime can sometimes help me start to get sleepy but like usually when i do that i'm or like if i'm going to bed lately i'm usually just like at the point i'm so exhausted that almost anything will do that so i don't know i don't know anyway bear with me i need um i need 2500 alloy to to get uranium storage and then I can set up another run and pause it and accrue double time. One second. My NGU idol addiction has now switched to an Evolve idol addiction. Thank you, Joseph. You're welcome. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Do you have bunk beds already? I'm I'm doing rapid fire back to back mads. I don't give a shit about the plasmids. I'm only doing it for mastery. So I'm not even researching bunk beds. I'm just I'm just going for the mastery. That's all I care about. Rip. Yeah, I know. It might not be efficient, but I don't give a shit. I'm still getting about 100 of plasmids every, every, uh, every nuke. So, whatever. Alright, got that. Alright, so now I need... I have rocketry, don't I? Where is it? Oh, I have rocketry. Okay, so I need one more library. We're just gonna... Six minutes? I can't wait six minutes. Oh, bioscience lab just, just popped. Okay, so I have it now. I have 122. I need... I need a bunch of uranium. Okay, this is not going to take a very long shot. Six minutes, six minutes in Samium. <laughs> Today I was watching Simon do a Sudoku. <laughs> and he, he missed the deduction. <laughs> and I yelled at my phone. Simon, there's only nine... <laughs> Simon, there's only nine digits in Sudoku. <laughs> And then I laughed and felt like an idiot. <laughs> Alright, I got enough uranium, now I just need the oil. Alright, we're almost done. This is going to take like, like 30 seconds. Steam has a VN sale on right now. Going to pick anything up? Nope. I have enough to do. On the phone, you specifically... Uh, Specifically to watch Simon? Yeah, that, that Simon's phone, yep. That phone. Ch 
Chat, do we know what the next game after Somnium will be? At the rate Somnium's going, it's probably going to be Armored Core. Did you see the Cracking the Cryptic released an apology video for skipping a deduction? Did they? Sometimes they do that, and usually they they um, acknowledge it in the, the the next video. To make a whole ass video just devoted to that is like like damn. That's uh that's some serious business. There have been a couple times where ah oh, done all right cool. Cool done. Oh mass extinction unlocked achievement icon unlocked. Achievement upgraded desolate smog nice. All right, so one second. What's what's the next race I'm going to um, uh, to kill? Uh, ogre. We're doing ogres. All right, so we're gonna get mammals, giantism, challenge gene, and then ogre. And then just research a bunch of stuff right at the beginning, build a couple cabins and some farms, change the default, and then pause it, and there you go. Now I'm recruiting double time, cool, all right. Surely Deadly, Deadly Premonition 2 is next. I I'll be surprised if we even stream Deadly Premonition 2 this year. All right, let me get the game up so we have some music. If you're only playing Evolve this stream, can you show your screen? I'm, I'm done, I'm done, it's, it's over, don't worry. We're past it. <laughs> Thoughts on the story so far? Pretty boring. Not enjoying this game as nearly as much as I was the first one. Okay, so games that are future games that are happening, okay? Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, Valhalla, Crypt of the Necrodancer, Fire Emblem Three Houses, okay? Those are the next four of the voted games. However, Lock It In games are Alan Wake 2, Eternite, Baby Steps, What? Lies of P, Apollo Justice, Star Wars Outlaws, and Staffield. All right, also on this list, um, is is uh, or missing from the list is Armored Core. All right, so we're gonna Armored Core comes out pretty soon, and then after Armored Core is done, like we're gonna be close to, like Starfield and and the uh, Lies of P. So we're kind of stacked. We're kind of stacked. I don't know if Paper Mario Thousand Year Door can be slipped in there somewhere. Valhalla looks interesting. I like to I like to do that. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not really looking forward that much to playing Crypto the Necrodancer, but hopefully I take to it. Have you seen the Ghost Trips Ghost Trick steamed hams? It's amazing. I have not. I would like to watch that. I will do it later. Fire Island Three Houses. I thought that because of the failed purple chain thing, that definitely wasn't happening. It took me a while to understand the whole voting thing. Wow. Wow. They don't know. They don't know. Yes, it is true that Fire Emblem fans were incapable of killing a purple uh, training dummy to get their game back in, in the bit. But then the streamer known as Joseph Anderson flew too close to the sun, Icarus himself into a bad spot and said, put put 19 marbles down and one marble of Fire Emblem Three Hooses and said, if Fire Emblem Three Hooses wins this race, then it can be back into the voting game. And it went up against 19 marbles and the Fire Emblem marble won, legit. So th that's how it got back in. Wait, what's this about a training dummy? That's your question? That's your question. Imagine not being on Discord between a stream uh, two years ago. <laughs> Imagine listening to me when I said we're gonna we're gonna take a break from streams and we'll just decide what we're playing in the, in the in the middle of it with some votes and then missing like the the greatest like uh, stream fan interaction event of all time. 
Because it wasn't planned? Alright, Somnium Saturday on a Saturday? No, it's 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 Tuesday, right? I've been awake for a long time, chat. Somnium, Somnium Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday... And, and it's Tuesday. There we go. Done. Do you think speedrun Sudoku is a waste of waste of a daily Sudoku video slot on cracking the crypto? Is that what they're doing now? They're doing speedrun Sudoku? Uh, maybe I don't know. I like their channel's really successful, so I don't want to I don't want to backseat what they're doing. But like I feel like there there are enough cracking the cryptic videos. But like if people are watching them, then more power to them. I think three houses will annoy you over all the overall from structure, but you'll in, but you like the gameplay a lot. A lot is two words. Will I like the gameplay? I'm worried more about the gameplay than anything else. It's it's tactical XCOM bullshit, isn't it? Speaking of backseat, can we hear the chair? It's not very loud today. Metal Gear Solid Marathon still a thing? Yes, but it's coming out at the end of the year. I think that's what we're doing it with the re-releases or remasters or whatever they are. It got pushed back. Plus two title, thank you very much. What did you study? The Blade? The remake is releasing this year. It's it's not a remake, is it's a re-release? I think they're all coming out on on all the all the platforms, are they not? I did one year of university to answer the question seriously. I did one year of university and it was liberal arts going for an English degree. Just want to say thanks for your streaming content, Joe. I learned English and comedy in this language a lot from these streams and your content. Landed a job because of it. Really? That's interesting. Well, thank you for that message. That's a cool message. Hope it goes well for you. You will be able to Joe three houses. Will I? Ho ho. I have no audio, but anything Joe says minus two. Whoa, what are you blind hating? Oh. At the interview, so I went to the zoo the other day. <laughs> Advice for enter the gungeon, I can do the first two floors with the default gun hit list, but always die on bosses. If you can do the first two floors with the default gun hitless, I feel like like if you get like a halfway decent gun, you're you're golden. You can do the whole game. Like like what what boss are you dying to? Gun priest? Speaking of uh, of Gungeon. Um, my seven-year-old is better than me at Dark Souls. He is in Sen's Fortress. He legitimately almost beat Quelag first try. And when I mean almost, I don't mean like, oh, he understood the, the fight. I mean he was one hit away from killing her on his first try. And the only reason he didn't is because he decided to heal when he should have attacked. He made a mistake. So then he went back in on a second try, got rumbled by some lava right away, and then on his third try he he killed her. I like the first time I killed Quelag, I I'm pretty sure I was like comfortably into the double digits of attempts before I killed her. Isn't remastered version nerfed though? I don't is it? I don't think so. Is it? God, I hope so. That would make me feel better. Metal Gear Solid, the Metal Gear Master Collection is ports of the Metal Gear Solid 1 3 coming this year. Metal Gear Solid Delta is a remake of Metal Gear Solid 3 coming question question mark. You'll still need to buy either Metal Gear Solid 4 standalone, I have that, or Metal Gear Solid 3 HD Collection to play 4. Both are for PS3. I, I have those already. 
Like, I have copies of those. Like, physical copies of those. I have them. Has he found the stray demon? He has found the stray demon. He was very upset. I thought there was no stream today. Did I guess that myself? No, that's next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, there's no stream. My second race on Evolve was N, and now playing the game is anyone else sucks. <laughs> it's not so bad. Ent is really good for, for, other, for longer runs. It's not so bad. You'll get used to it. Quaylike is an Incense Fortress? Yeah. When I said he's Incense Fortress, I was saying he, he has progressed past Quaylike. That's what I meant. So I, I led with that, and then I went, you know... I was I was starting the story in Medias Res. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we were... And then I, you know, rewound to, hey, here's how he did on the boss before Sense Fortress. It's not going well for him in Sense Fortress. To get 300k knowledge, should I go for Super Colliders or Observatories? Uh, observatories are a really good bang for your buck. You should probably max them out whenever you can. And then super colliders for the rest if you have the resources for them. I'm at the point of the evolve when knowledge buildings cost more knowledge than I have. It's maddening. That's when you want to go for super colliders, yeah. What's his opinions on the game? He likes it a lot, but I don't know, he's also getting frustrated, but that's 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 the uh, that's the intended feeling, right? I have been getting frustrated. Well, I, apparently we're just talking today. I'm sorry. I'm really, really tired, so I'm kind of out of sorts. I mean, let's just, let's just talk for a bit. I am getting really, really frustrated because while he's playing Dark Souls 1, he wants me to play Dark Souls as well. So I played Dark Souls 1 um, remaster on my computer while he sits next to me on the Switch while we're downstairs, um, like babysitting the dogs. Uh, we were also both up really, really late um, over the weekend because the two of us have sleeping problems. So, so me and Finn have been hanging out playing Dark Souls. Um, so I've been playing the remaster, but I didn't want to get further than him in the game. So every single time he makes progress, I can play the game a little bit more and we play Dark Souls 1 together. I also downloaded an item item randomizer and I played with that for a little bit for the first time. I also downloaded an enemy randomizer, but I didn't install it because I didn't want him seeing any bosses that he hasn't seen yet. I don't know if the enemy randomizer can make it so only the bosses are randomized. Uh, if they are, then that would be pretty, pretty good. I'd like that. Um, so... I've been, I've been playing that, and when I when I run out of things to do, the item randomizer is pretty um, is pretty fun. By the way, it's interesting. Uh, it it adds some freshness to the game that I wasn't expecting. Um, anyway, when I run out of things to do, so because I don't want to be ahead of him, I play Dark Souls 2, So I'm still playing a Dark Souls with him, and I don't care about him getting spoiled on Dark Souls 2, So like I'll play that in front of him. And so I, I decided, this may surprise some of you, but I have never done a full, from the beginning of the game, playthrough of Dark Souls 2 in Covenant of Champions. I've never done that before. So I tried to do that. And I am learning that I should have done that for the video series I made on it. And I am learning that I was way too generous with Dark Souls 2. That game has so many fucking problems with with enemies just being like whoop i'm in an attack you know just just no telegraph attacks instant slidey fucking i'm on roller blades but they're fantasy and invisible attacks like hitbox out the ass like oh my god like i also wanted to try be doing a great sword run in dark souls 2 and like what the fuck is wrong with targeting with with that? And I'm not talking about like after you do an attack with a with a great sword in Dark Souls 2, you can you can kind of move it a little bit with the left stick. I'm not talking about that. Like th that is janky as hell. Sometimes I'm I'm not even touching the stick and I press R1 and my character is like I'm going to attack 90 degrees to my right. Ooh, here I go. Good luck. Like like just doesn't even give a shit where it's going. Dude, don't just left stick. I already accounted for that chatter. I'm not talking about that. Even, even just not even touching left stick, he just does whatever the fuck he wants sometimes. It's buggy as hell. Sometimes you will be, you know, just like like a nut hair too close to the enemy when you do R1 with the great sword, And because there's this little kind of forward momentum that your character does, 
when when you attack so your character box will slide up against the enemy attack box uh, sorry the enemy hitbox and that means that you're gonna slide past them now instead of attacking them so you just like whiff right behind them like just just insane how how sensitive it is i also forgot like like how short the the broadsword and the longsword are in that game for whatever reason like ever ever tried like because covenant champions makes the um makes the enemies have more health so some of them take three hits to kill with a two-handed longsword do you know how how fun it is to go up to an enemy and hit them twice with a two-handed longsword and then because they they the geniuses that made the game decided that every single enemy that you hit has this huge amount of like sliding knockback whenever you hit them that when you try and do a third hit they're now out of fucking range of your tiny little fucking anemic sword that is trying to get them like oh my god like covenant champions just reveals like so many more problems with that game's combat system that i didn't even realize were there can you believe i played the the, the six or seven first races involved without knowing you can manual craft <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you learn why I said on stream last time? Will you stream Steins Gate, please? Again? I've been told I'm weird for this, but honestly, gameplay is pretty insignificant to my enjoyment of any of the games, aside from Sekiro, where it stands out a lot. What are you enjoying, then? Just, like, the exploration of the world or whatever? Dark Souls 2 also had the worst DLC. Now you're just trying to trigger me. The world, the enemies, boss design, etc. Isn't that? Do you mean visually? Because like, like other than, because that is gameplay, is it not? Like discovery in the and the, the visuals, I guess. Story? What story? Can you play the game? No, I'm just chilling. I guess visually, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can understand that, yeah. Exploring the world, going on an adventure, yeah. Alan Wake 1 before 2? Hmm. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I don't think I finished Alan Wake 1. I've played it, but I don't think I finished it. Did we stream Alan Wake 1? We didn't, did we? Oh, the hitboxes in Dark Souls 2 are so bad. Just so many times, just like I, I am like visibly so far away from where the enemy just hit, and I still take damage. It's such a piss off. And the ad adaptability tax too to get your agility up to like what what is it like 105 in order for the for the rolls to function the same way as they do in Dark Souls 1 and 3. <sighs> Dark Souls 3 is the best. Dark Souls 3 is the best one overall. I'm, I'm putting it down right now. Dark Souls 1 is the best like first time magical experience, but you know like you know what the combat eh Dark Souls 3 is the best one. For just like drop in and have a good time like returning to having a Dark Souls experience, Dark Souls 3 is the best one. You know the two man helps to die frames too. Yeah, like you, you can see agility like opening uh, opening when you mouse over it or whatever. Hello. Hello. What's this? Tea. tea. Okay, thank you. Very hot tea. Very hot tea. Spill. It's really hot in here too, chat. Sorry. Anyone else agrees that Dark Souls 3 base game is too easy? Yeah, it is, but like you can you can tailor the difficulty for yourself. Just don't upgrade your weapon or something. Like you can you can make it harder for yourself. That's not to like like dismiss that they should have made the game harder. Like I'm just saying like you can you can solve that problem if you want to have a better time, you know? Like that's within your power. Just like in Hollow Knight, you you probably shouldn't fully upgrade your nail. But now with with God Home, you probably should. 
Joe, you ever play Lobotomy Corporation? It has a funny name? Nope. What about Bloodborne? What about Bloodborne? Bloodborne has the same problem as Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 is weird. You play Dark Souls 1 or play Dark Souls 3 or Elden Ring and then go and try and play Dark Souls 2 and you're just like, ugh. Like, it just, it just feels floaty as fuck. Nothing feels right. And after a while, you can get used to it, but it takes, like, a while to do it. There's that... Who's that guy that has done, like, all the Dark Souls games and Sekiro and Elden Ring in a row without dying? Like, I, I can't imagine how hard it must be to switch over to Dark Souls 2 in the middle of that run. Like, because Dark Souls 2 is just, like, it feels gross. But you can get used to it, but it feels gross compared to Dark Souls 1 and 3. There's, like, no weight to the character. Um, everything is just, just off. Bloodborne has that same problem because it's, it's sub 30 frames per second for a lot of the, a lot of the runtime. Like, it just, like, sometimes you're playing Bloodborne and it'd just be, like, just ass out of nowhere, you know? Which usually is a good thing, but, like, in, in this context, no, it's not. So, that's one of the biggest problems, maybe even the biggest problem with Bloodborne, is just how awful it feels to play in comparison to the to the 60 frames per second of, of the other games especially now that dark souls remaster is a lot more stable than prepare to die whatever dark souls 1 feels very slow though dark souls 1 is pretty slow but at least it's like it's stable you know what you're in for i find that dark souls 1 is is pretty difficult to play without a shield compared to dark souls 2 and 3 even though it feels better overall and that makes sense because Dark Souls One is, is was built around shield use. What do you think about the Demon Souls remake? I didn't finish it. I only played it for a little bit. I haven't done it. Uh, I haven't gone through it all yet. I have it. When you say Dark Souls doesn't have a story, how serious are you? Do you not think there's any value to? It? I'm 100% serious. I'm completely deadly serious. Dark Souls doesn't have a story. Dark. Okay, hold on. Dark Souls has lore and it contains writing in it. <laughs> like, like there's there's some things there. There are some stories that the NPCs go through. It, it on a very base level, if you want to talk about being like, well, there's a story of the chosen undead who starts off in the asylum and then he does this and this and this and this and this. Okay, yeah, that that is a very bare bones story that you go through. Okay, I'm not claiming that it's completely devoid of any any narrative in, in that respect. But when people say that Dark Souls has this really deep story of self discovery and you have to inspect everything and look at things and read all the all the items and shit, like no, that's complete horseshit. That's just like, like. Uh, the, the slam, the smoking gun here, I almost said slam dunk, oh, that would have been fun too. Smoking gun here is, I think Miyazaki himself said in, said, in, said in an interview that he wanted to recreate the feeling that he had when he was reading fantasy books as, as a kid or a teenager, and he didn't even really understand English, so he didn't really understand what was going on, and he just liked the vibe of them. Like, that's what he was trying to recreate with Dark Souls. Like, it's... There's just really nothing there. It's just like the impression of something going on that you're just supposed to just kind of seep in and bring your own interpretation and your own feelings to. And that's fine. I really like that. I really like that you can do that. I really like that the story stays out of the way. But people who say it has this really, really deep, compelling narrative are just basically sharing their own kind of fan fiction that they've created themselves while they're playing it. And that's cool. I'm not saying that's a bad thing or you shouldn't do it or that's invalid. But I don't think that it's fun for me, and I don't really, I'm not really interested in hearing anyone else talk about it either. You know? Sekiro has a story. Sekiro has a story, yeah, but we're not talking about Sekiro, we're talking about Dark Souls. Sekiro does have a story. I would say that Elden Ring possibly has a story too. Bloodborne kind of has more of a story as well. Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 definitely don't. Piecing together the story before you is an, is is an int as interesting and impactful as exploring the visuals for a lot of people. Yeah, and that's fine for them, but they're not piecing together a story that has actually been like written and then hit with a hammer and then those pieces have been scattered around. That's never happened. There are just pieces of a story that are completely disconnected and you can connect them yourselves if you want with your own interpretation, but there is no like proper story there that has been carefully crafted, you know what I mean? Ultra Rare Joseph L. It's one of my first L's. It was in the first video. I wouldn't agree with people who say it's a super deep experience. I do like the idea of this pseudo-historical framework that's there. Not super imposed for you to piece together yourself. It's not a narrative, that's for sure. Like, the world building? Like, the world building is interesting. But even that, like... 
Like Dark Souls, the world of Dark Souls one doesn't really make any sense. So it doesn't really pass any level of inspection, I think. And that's hard for me to, to look past. <clears throat> Why am I getting question, question, question marks? Should we go with the Mr. Beatung route? What are they eating in the Dark Souls world, chat? What are they eating? Like, we could go through the whole game if you want, and we could just ask questions over and over and over and over again. Like, who who the hell built on Deadburg? How are people living there in... <laughs> <laughs> and in fucking death trap city how did how did they have like like the architectural power to build the huge gigantic wall basin that blight town is is uh is um is like a barnacle on but yet undeadburg is this like death trap like um what is uh oh man i can't remember what it's called <sighs> what's the um what's the picture of all the stairways going in different directions um Somewhere upside down, doorways leading to nowhere. I can't remember what that's called. I'm really tired, like I said. MC Escher, yeah, like Undeadburg being like this, this, this MC Escher nightmare of like every single child that has lived in this place has has killed themselves accidentally by running off a fucking stairway. You know what I mean? Like just shit like that. I heavily disagree with everything you're saying, but I can't type two thousand words, so I won't argue. That's fair. That's fair. But in my opinion, the best quality of games, especially in games like Dungeons and Dragons, is creating your own story through gameplay instead of traditional storytelling. That's that's your that you that's what you think is the best quality of games, not the gameplay. Okay, I'm not saying that's wrong, but like, have you tried writing? You might enjoy writing. I mean, that's a good springboard to go into, like, like actual just, just writing. Jill, let's start the game. I'm having fun talking in my chat. Writing is not interactive, though. Sure it is. I mean, like, thinking of your story as you're playing a game isn't interactive either. The gameplay is the interactive part. The story in the, the world's not going to react to your the story you're writing in your head. To me, that's kind of the point that there isn't meant to be answers, just like the, with real history, there are only questions for us to reflect upon based on whether evidence is available, which, as you pointed out, can be fairly limited. Yeah, true, but... I hate that kind of thing most of the time. I hate the... It's left up to your own interpretation. I left. I hate the like impression. If you watch enough of my videos, you know this. This is just something that you have to accept about me, um, or you have to like going into whenever I discuss a story that that is like this. You have to be like, okay, well, I disagree with y'all on that. So whenever he says this, I can just ignore him when he says this shit. Like I, I, I hate that. I, I hate. Um, there are some times when there's an open ending, I'm okay with that. Or there's like, you have to, it's up to your interpretation. Sometimes that's okay. But when there, when there is no, sorry, I'm not communicating very well today because I'm so tired. Okay, so when, when it becomes abundantly clear to me that there is no actual master draft of the story that is contained in the game or the movie or even the book like if if there if a lot is left up, up to your interpretation and you have to piece it together but i am struck very heavily by the by the impression that there that even the writer doesn't know then to me i don't give a shit anymore do you know what i mean if there is um the strong impression that there is something there that the writer has 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 in mind that this is what i think is going on but you can still interpret a lot of the different things uh, on your own kind of like what edith finch is like to me then i'm way more on board and i can and i can get through it right i disagree you disagree that that i feel that way
I think a lot of people confuse lore or world building, world building and story or narrative. Dark Soul actually has quite a lot of the former, even if it don't doesn't completely make sense. But the actual story is incredibly bareborn. Yeah, barebone. Sorry. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people do conflict those. I think. Yeah, which is fine. How can you tell that the writer knows or not? Though I I can tell by the pixels and have seen many shops in my time. Is basically how I can tell. You just know, I, I I know that's a shitty answer, I'm sorry, but you just know, like, it's just like, if you think about it for long enough and you, and you start to see the holes and you just kind of get an impression from having seen so many, it's just like, fuck it, like, I, I can just tell, right? And if you're wrong, you're wrong. Hey, it's fine. It's fine to be wrong. It's like, not gonna, like, fucking, um, change your mind, right? Joe, thank you for so much for, for talking about Suda Regalia a few days ago. It's kind of fun so far. Is that the, uh, the, the goat game? Is it fun? Would I like it? I'm not streaming it. Have you read the Mr. B Tongue series on Witcher 3? No, what's that? What's Witcher 3? For your game, you should do what Miyazaki did with Dark Souls, but in reverse with your limited knowledge of weeb culture. <laughs> do you think the games are worse for not having a narrative with written purpose? By games, do you mean the Dark Souls games, or do you mean games in general? So, for Dark Souls games, no. I, I, I like that the story stays out of the way. I like that I can skip the few cinematics that are in the game. I like that I'm not constantly being interrupted by people talking to me. I like I really enjoy that the story um, stays firmly out of the way and you can just explore and take it all in as you as you want to, right? It's kind of annoying in Sekiro that the story is, is more present and um, gets in your face a little bit more. Um, even though it's not really in your face all that much, it still isn't kind of annoying to me because uh, the Sakura story is not very good. Um, it's not awful, it's just kind of nothing to me. Um, games in general though, no, I think games can be very powerful narrative vehicles that haven't really been fully realized yet. Uh, even my favorite game that has uh, a story is Disco Elysium, as we've spoken about before, but even that I don't think uses the medium all that well. I just feel like it's just it's just written really really well. Like the writing quality, like Disco Elysium could also have been a really good book, or a really good um, eh, TV miniseries. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Probably a book. It's it's definitely good as it is. Don't get me wrong. Like I like the format. I'm not saying I would prefer it as a book. I'm just saying it could have also been a good book. Whereas I don't think Outer Wilds could have been a good book. There's like this Outer Wilds uses the medium of, of video games to tell a story way more than Disco Elysium does. Does that make sense? Undertale is another one. Yeah, someone in chat just said Undertale. Yeah. If you wrote a blog on 20sided.com going through the whole game plus DLC, I mentioned it because you said you liked them. I think I know what that is. No, I haven't read it, no. Yeah, I really like Mr. Beaton. Have you read The Sacred and Terrible Air? I've never heard of it, sorry. I thought the overall plot of Disco Elysium was kind of boring. Yeah, like the um, the, the, the main story in Disco Elysium isn't, isn't very good, no. Um, but everything that happens around that is really, really good. And maybe that's on purpose. Maybe the main narrative is just meant to be like, hey, this just moves it forward so you can see these characters, have these conversations, and learn more about yourself. And by yourself, I mean the main character. One of the porn artists made fan art of the goat game, so please do not stream it or it will open the gates to tons of stream art. I'm not saying saving goat thighs to my fucking PC. Okay, we, we won't do it. Also, the some of the fan art has been kind of risky. I don't know, or risque. I don't know if we're going to show that. Like... And people flood to the, the stream art museum. Come on, like... <sighs> I, it's good art, I like it, but like... I, I I don't... That might be a little too far. The, the one Chrome did. Like... <sighs> like... Is 
Is there a link somewhere? It's on Jad's. I don't mind do as you must. Based. Based. Have you considered playing Master Detective Archives? I don't know what that is, sorry, so I haven't considered it. I just, to go back to Dark Souls for a second, I hate how people are like, oh my god, the level of attention to detail that there's a set of stairs that's bigger in, on this stairway because some of the people here that live are giants and they accounted for the fact that they would need their own set of stairs to get up and down this stairwell is is like accepted as, oh, that's great. Meanwhile, in the same game, there's like four undead people that are just like, just hanging off of, off of a, a fucking railing waiting for you to walk by just, just in case you come by so they can ambush you. Like, I, I just, I, like, there's a stone statue in a room that like, there's, there's no room, there's no possible way they could have gotten in the you know what I mean? This is just just shit like this, and then people will just say, "Oh, it's magic. Who gives a fuck?" Like it's just there's so much shit that, like, yeah, that's a cool detail. But like for every cool detail that we can look at and be like, "Oh, that's neat," I can think of like fucking probably like ten examples of like, "Whoa, what the fuck about this?" Then you know, like, mad. Yeah, pretty mad. Yeah. It's just the game. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? The story that you create when you choose to go to the academy first instead of the castle, for example, is much more interesting than God of War cutscenes that many times directly contradicts your actions and gameplay. To me, a traditional story like book writing does not work well in an interactive medium. An interactive story like Dungeons and Dragons is better, but it's still not possible in video games. I disagree. See, chat, I can do it too. When you play Raincoat, I think you will turn completely weep. I don't think so. Alright, should we play the game? You disagree with how it feels? Yeah, because people do that to me too. Like, I can do it back. The Master Detective thing is basically a sequel to Danganronpa series, but worse. Oh, is is that Rain Code? Is the Master Detective thing, is that what Rain Code is? It's just got a long ass title? Oh, okay. I don't know if we're ever streaming that. I heard it was really bad. I think it's the most grounded of his games. Really? Joe, look what you're playing right now. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. But this was voted. You guys made me play this. It's not really bad, but it does have a disclaimer that you might get sued if you stream it. Yeah, well, that's that's the biggest problem for it, yeah. That's the biggest problem for it. Anyway, let me say thank you to some people and then we will uh we will jump right in. Uh, but also, if you enjoy doing, like, like piecing together and interpreting Dark Souls narrative or any game that's like that, absolutely don't let a chuckle fuck like me get in the way of your enjoyment for that. It's just that I'm not going to sit here and, and pander to my audience and say, Oh my god, I like doing it too! Like, I don't. And I'm going to be honest about that because I'm always honest about that sort of thing. But at the same time, that comes with, you know, the, the strong reminder from me don't fucking listen to me if you don't agree. Like, you don't have to. Like, who gives a shit? Like, it just that's just my opinion. You can ignore it. Uh, 
the whole purpose of the videos and doing reactions on stream to things is is never ever 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 to i hope a lot of people will listen and then they'll parrot my opinion forever like no i i don't give a shit about that at all and that's not the point of it it's just like hey here's my take on this here's what i think here's my reaction hopefully you get some value out of it one of the best comments i ever saw from the the mario odyssey video was someone who said i love this game i watched the video and everything that you said just made me realize why i like this game G cool video thank you for making it i appreciate what you said and i'm like cool like that's that's really really good i'm glad that the video even though it's it's criticizing it fairly heavily made you realize more why you enjoyed the game through that that's a really good reaction that's great like there's no there's no like oh secretly like yes yes now i want you to hate star wars as much as i do like 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 no that's that's not the point star wars is kind of toxic sorry that's why i went with star wars anyway let us say thank you to the following people uh, I think I said thank you to KX underscore X last time, right? Pepperdew? And Pepperdew. I think Pepperdew, because what is this game? It had to have been while we were live. Um, did we say thank you to Uber Super Sloth? No, that was 45 minutes ago, so it definitely starts there. I think Cakes400, subscribe while the stream is down. Thank you, Cakes400. Thank you, the Big Fudge 23 Cake and Fudge. Damn. Thank you very much for the new subs. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Jason Kim, for the resub. Thank you, Iceborgs, for the resub. Thank you, U Uber Super Sloth, again, for the resub. Excuse me. Thank you also to Algent, Curator K. Hope you're doing better, K. Thank you, Daddy's Jizzies. Just just say that just normally now. That's that's a normal thing I say now. Thank you very much, Daddy's Jizzies. Thank you, Sir Nika, for the resub. Thank you, Malarious85, as well. Thank you also to Amphibian Teeth. Kind of scary. Pedro Lucas NS. Collisional, coll collusional, delusional. Ooh, that's fun to say. Collusional, delusional. Imagination, excavation. Thank you, Prime Guy, for the resub. With Prime. Thank you, Vic Nick, for the resub. Dalmec, for resubscribing. Sorry, I saw Dalmec and my brain immediately braced for like. <laughs> What what degenerate name is gonna come after I say Dalmec? But no, it's just it's it's a resub from Dalmec. Thank you very much, Dalmec. Um, thank you, Zero Vault, for the bits. Thank you, Nitro Gui, for gifting out two subs. Thank you very much, Nitro. Thank you, KC McG, for the resub. Einen Ein Nub Nub for the resub. Daxier for the resub. Disco Spider for the resub. Loves Disco Elysium. Legion7820 for the resub. And Himblo, Mimblo, Bimblo, Zimblo. Got it. Nailed it for the resub. Thank you very much. All right. So apologies for the uh, sit and talk um, conversation uh, or intro. Uh, I almost canceled the stream today because I've been awake for a long time and I, I didn't really get much sleep before I woke up. So just kind of easing in here. Sorry. Did you start an, early, an hour early just to riff? Uh, I started an hour early, so... We could like end on time. This is usually when the stream is supposed to start, so I can go to sleep tonight. You want me to recommend some hentai? She said she was headed to Iris's house. Uh I do recall Mame seemed troubled. I saw Mame at Ion. Where is the main event taking place? Tokigo was his mistress. Real secret relationship type shit. It's called Nirvana X. Nirvana X? Oh yeah, okay. So, what food do you like? Salty, bitter, spicy, sweet? I think we went spicy last time, didn't we? Iba. Iba probably likes sweet. I remember the taste of my first lovey. Oh, became Iris. Well, okay. Anyway, so um, when we last left the game, I'm not going to do a full recap. I'm just going to kind of just like see if I can remember what's going on. So at the beginning of the game, some half a corpse drops from the ceiling during a quiz show, which didn't even feel real. And then we were Mizuki six years in the future, although... I am confused how that's going to show up in the in the flowchart. Um, and we couldn't do the Mizuki route because we have to get something from the Ryuki route first. Mizuki and Ryuki. Um, so we're Ryuki and we're going through the story. 
and something is fucky in the state of Denmark. So, um, he's dead, she's dead. On this route, we got shot and uh, he lived and he lived. In this route, he's dead, he disappeared in a ferris wheel right here, I think. Mm. Why hasn't it updated to February 14th yet? Is that like, the, there should be a line here, shouldn't there? That's weird, why, why it didn't do that? Anyway, uh, so, and then all of a sudden he was back and he said he didn't even go to the, to the fairground. What the fuck are you talking about? And we're not, and we're not asking questions. And also it, it kind of feels like maybe he doesn't even know his dad is dead anymore. So something weird is going on with like character perception and conveniently Iba or sorry, not Iba. Um, Tama, is that her name? Ta Tama can't access any data storage to verify a lot of shit. So uh, she has access to the internet though, so I guess she could do it there. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. My guess is it's bullshit because this, this, um, this game is is uh, brought to you by the same person who wrote a story where one of the major twists was, and you can mute the micro, mute the stream for the next ten seconds if you don't want to hear it. One of the major twists was that in every scene there was a character just out of frame that they just weren't showing you Lamayo until the big revelation was, oh my God, there's a character just out of frame the whole time so like who knows what's going on uh here like my guess is that it's not going to be very fair um but yeah so yeah that's where we're at now and we are in the headquarters of uh her and we're talking to her hologram about um about bullshit so that's where we're at okay How's the sound? Are we okay? And the the air conditioning isn't too bad, right? This world is a simulation. Thus its creator must have created with intention. This world is a simulation. I mean, it could just be like a a baseline. Just leave us alone, baseline. This intention we can never know for certain. Yep. But we can surmise and we can estimate. Not really, no. Imagine you attempt an action, but that action is prevented by something incomprehensible to you. Like gravity? It is reasonable to assume that action was something not considered by the creator. Like what? Contrarily, if you attempt an action and feel yourself compelled by some otherworldly force, it is probably something the creator did expect. Like rats trapped in a maze. Example? Go in the wrong direction and receive a shock. Go in the right direction and receive a prize. Considering this, perhaps this simulation is actually a game. A game about escaping this inscrutable maze. Can you win this game? The creator probably wants you to. Okay. Not a single example. Man. Critics of my videos must love her. No examples, Pog! Oh my god, great! I love it when there's points not supported by examples. The Allegory of the Cave is a story first told by Plato, the ancient Greek philosopher. There are prisoners imprisoned in a dark cave. These prisoners have never witnessed the outside world. Okay, so... Is there anyone in chat right now that doesn't know about Plato's Cave? I didn't learn about P Plato's Cave until I was in my my single year of uni year of university, so it's not usually covered by high school. I guess in some high school topics. How common knowledge is Plato's Cave? Seems like a fair few people in chat have have never encountered it before. Okay. All they can see are shadows projected on the walls in front of them. Merely the shadows of grass and trees, flocks of birds. Even families of deer would be shown from time to time. But the prisoners who have never seen the outside world believe these shadows to be the truth. Reality they do not doubt or question. One day, one of the prisoners unchains themselves and escapes the cave. How? 
They see real grass, real trees, real flocks of birds, and then they and die. Real deer. At that time, they saw the world as it truly is. Overwhelmed with emotion, they head back to the cave to tell the other prisoners of their discovery. Everything we've seen until now have been shadows, false images. The outside world is completely different. I like the word allegory. None of the other prisoners believe the escapee. Have they gone insane? They laugh. Do you understand this allegory? The escapee was enlightened with the truth and reached Moksha. It's kind of coffee, isn't it? So what about you? Do you plan to live your days chained in a cave? Scraping by a living in a world of falsehood and fraud. Or do you plan to join us? I mean, when you the put it that, like that. Please demonstrate your determination. <laughs> this is like when, when, when Mac does his science bitch thing in Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Do you want do you want to be a fucking idiot, or do you want to be on our side because we know what's going on? Like, what is this? This is, sounds great, but like, no evidence whatsoever. Like, come on. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. So reads the doctrine. He created a reasonable doubt. I don't want to be a science bitch. Emptiness is not separate from form. Form is not separate from emptiness. Whatever is form is emptiness. Whatever is emptiness is form. Emptiness is sometimes translated as void or nothingness. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Everything in this world is false. False is this world to the core. Shotok Taishi, who spread Buddhism in Japan, said something similar. All is false. Buddha is truth. The first part of the quote is self-explanatory. The latter requires context. Okay. Buddha, in this instance, is being used as a substitute for the general concept of enlightenment, bodhi, satori. Thus, the quote can be interpreted to mean... Simulated world. The sole truth of this world is enlightenment. Everything else is a falsehood. I will give another example. Okay. The butterfly dream, a famous legend told by Shuang Tso, one of the founders of Taoism. One day, Shuang Tso was a butterfly in a dream. He awoke from his dream with a question. Was his being a butterfly a dream? Or is this world he awoke in a dream? <sighs> Anyone else think this is kind of cringe? <laughs> I know it's the it's the basis of a lot of important beliefs, but it's kind of cringe, isn't it? I don't know. It's like, it's kind of rudimentary now, right? I don't I don't uh <laughs> I don't want to be too judgy, but like I don't <laughs> Many notable people in history have had similar thoughts. These same questions have been passed down for thousands of years. Why is that? Could there be a truth hidden in all this? Have you heard about Schrodinger's cat? No, it's not a tale the Jedi would tell you. That's enough. Okay. Well, that sure was something. Didn't help much, though. Not necessarily. This information might come in handy later. Heh, <laughs> if you say so. Anyway, there was no information on Amame. Let's go somewhere else. Amame. Is it meant to sound shallow? It feels intentionally very surface level compared to the previous games. It remains to be seen. Like may maybe they're setting this up so we can laugh at the cult later. You know, because that's kind of what they did in the first game. But you know. Shit has gone down already. That's here we go. Like it, it seems to be playing it straight so far. I'm glad we had an open room for you. It's quiet here. You should be able to relax and focus on your treatment. Treatment? Oh, you don't have to worry about the paperwork for your stay here. We'll handle everything. 
Uh, hold on. My stay here? What are you talking about? That boy hmm? needs therapy. You don't remember? Remember what? Hmm. This is troubling. Uh-oh. Here we go. This at the hospital. Uh. Put your ball away. No playing Kusimon Go in the hospital. Oh, I thought it was like Doctor House playing like with a tennis ball hitting at the wall. Okay. My name is Hana Yonasu. I'm a nurse at this hospital. I used to go by a different name. You got married? No, the opposite. I got a divorce. So I'm going back to my maiden name. It's been a few hours since you arrived. A few hours? Impossible. I think that we should change it so that we should change social convention that when you get married, instead of one partner taking the other one's last name, you should just combine your last names. And in a couple generations, we can have these, like, gigantically long-ass last names from all these generations over and over and over and over and over again. Just being like, eventually we're going to have to, like, abbreviate them and shit. I think that would be great. It's fair. We shouldn't do that. That's why the Spanish have such long names. It's based. I like that. That's good. Mr. Ryuki, do you remember getting a checkup? I'm sure the doctor would have told you everything. No, I have no idea. I see. Then I'm afraid I'll have to be the bearer of bad news. Mr. Ryuki, Monica, you have what we call cognitive dysfunction. Sometimes you'll forget what time it is or where you are, even lose track of the people around you. It's all part of your condition. Uh... In addition to that, we believe that you have a short-term memory disorder. What? Tama, is this true? Yes, it is. Then why are we a fucking detective? This is difficult for me to say, but your condition is very serious. We need to begin treatment immediately. Is Tama even real? Um, I'm going to get the files. Oh, I'm leaving I'll out be the right window. Back, so right. please wait here. Uh, Excuse me. Okay. Okay, I went to the hospital like I promised. Now let's get going, Tama. What are you talking about? That nurse told you that you need to stay here. I don't have time for that. I need to solve this case. Please, Tama, just three more days. If we leave. I refuse. Fine, just one day. 24 hours is all I ask. If we leave. Please let me do this. Please. There's no I'll way. I'll give you some chocolate later. There's no way. Are you joking? You know I can't eat chocolate. No, I mean like Virtual emotional chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> She's going for it. Ah, fine. This is dumb. But you're only getting 24 hours. This is dumb. This is like when this is like in the first game when they didn't have a security guard outside the Somni machine, and the and the guy just like when it was over just just got up and walked out when he was supposed to be in custody. This this except this time it's us that's doing that. This is really dumb. Not a second longer. Thanks, Tama. <sighs> Custody? Yeah, to go with the chocolate that we're getting Tama. After that, we searched all over the city to look for Mame, but ultimately we couldn't find her. Also, I don't know what time it is. The sun is setting. Let's give up on finding a Mame for now. No, not yet. There's one more place I want to go. I didn't mention it before now because I thought, considering Mame's mental state, it would be a long shot, but maybe... Hey, can you just cut to the chase? Where are you talking about? The maid cafe she works at. She's at the maid cafe. 
Sunfish Pocket in Akiba. Who's that? Mommy, you were here this whole time? We were looking for you. Sorry to interrupt, but Mame can't talk right now. I don't really know how, but she lost her voice. Oh, like the little mermaid! She must still be struggling with what happened at the studio. Uh-huh. But then... Why is she here at the cafe? Wait, Leon's here? What is he doing here? Really are in a sim. Uh -huh. It looks like the toy that I have. Though mine only has one tip. It looks nothing like that. Oh, you have a spear? Jeez, are there no mature women working here? I wouldn't enjoy getting whipped by these girls at all. I don't think this is that kind of establishment. Yeah, that's pretty true. I told you, I was going to meet Kizzy today. She wanted to meet here. Where is Kizuna now? She told me a little bit ago that she's running late. Oh, she's She'll dead. She'll be here after she finishes shopping with Iris. Oh, is Iris coming too? Yeah. It was actually Iris who planned the night out. It was her idea to have a video night at the cafe. What does that mean? I don't really know, actually. All I know is, this wasn't a solo date with me and Kizzy. It's mommy, she's wearing her mermaid outfit. Four days ago, on the 10th of February, you went to Horidori Institute, right? Leon told me. Hey, come on! Why did you go to Horidori Institute? Did you meet Tokiko there? Dot dot dot. Seeing that you're wearing your outfit, are you working today? Of course, it's Valentine's Day. Dot, dot, There's dot. going to be tons of customers here, and they need as many mermaids as they can get. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what's going on right now. Why aren't we being like, hey, we know, uh, I remember we're gonna get to it, like, we're just accepting that she's non-verbal hat. <laughs> so her manager begged her to work today. Oh no, this is gonna lead to a fucking somnium, isn't it? She's not talking, so let's just somnium her. But she has to say yes to the somnium, right? Even though she can't talk? She can write, but... Hey, what happened at the studio? I just want a clue. Anything at all would be helpful. Mame. You ran into terror at the studio, didn't you? Did they say anything to you? Like I said, Mame can't talk right now. I thought I told you. I don't understand what Mame could be thinking. We didn't get Mizuki's permission when she was mute, but we were Mizuki's guardian, so we could provide that, right? I guess we can go talk to, to Mame's guardian. What's going on in her head? Why don't you ask her to write something? Okay, let's do that. Looking yep. at her now, I don't think she'll write anything. Well then... Yeah, <sighs> we should ask her heart. Using the sink machine. Somnium. Somnium. Right now, uh, Mommy's boss is like, I don't care that you're having a Somnium, you need to cover someone if you're not going to be at work today. You call someone right now and get someone to cover your shift. I don't give a shit that you're in a somnium. It's Valentine's Day. She doesn't look happy about the somnium. Good thing boss and pewter aren't here. I'm sure they'll chew you out later. What? You know it's a crime to use the machine without permission. What? You could even get fired for this. It's fine. If I get results, boss won't care. Hmm, you think so? Tama, can you control the machine? You can do it remotely, right? 
Are you really going to do this? Mommy ran into terror. I'm sure of it. How did we get it's her here? Likely she knows something important. Please, Tama. Please help me. You're my only hope. Indiana Jones oh, reference. You're nice. So annoying. Fine, I'll do it. We do so many crimes, what's one more? We really do do a lot of crimes, don't we? I'm going to skip the warning message because I'm sure you already know. No, say it, say it. Okay, start it. God damn it. What was that? Could you start, please? That's better. Here I go. Three, two, one. Thank you to Lunatic Boy for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Lunatic Boy. Thank you... Al Topoe, Al Topoe, for gifting out three subs. Thank you very much, Al Topoe. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. And thank you, Lemonade Standing. Another sequel to Death Stranding. Thank you very much, Lemonade Standing, for the reset. The worst, the worst Somnium, the worst Somnium so far. What the hell's this? This is Studio Devita. The faith to face set is still up. That means... Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. We have the brand new star of the net world visiting us today. What? Please, show us your dance! You want me to dance? No, no, I'm not Aiba. I can't dance! Come on, let's see it! Ugh, I hate that look he gets in his eyes when he's ignoring me. Fine, I'll do it. Resist, allow your heart to take you. Never let this merciless world erase you. I love her so much, chat. Huh? That didn't really do it for me. Welcome to the quiz show, Faith to Face. Zombie. I am your host, Andy's Komeji. It's Komeji. This facial expression isn't changing at all. It's creepy. This is a competition for the one and only Quiz King's throne. And tonight, as always, we have a head-to-head -head battle between the champion and challenger. And of course, the champion is me, Andy's Komeji. The challenger is... Me? Can the challenger beat me? I don't know. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? I didn't agree to this. I knew Mommy liked quiz shows, but I didn't expect her to dream about them too. The rules are Mommy simple. didn't agree to this After either. five rounds of quizzes, whoever has more correct answers will be the winner. The winner will receive this amazing prize. What? The prize is a Mame? A Mame, please tell us how you're feeling. Da, da, da. <laughs> hmm. Shy, huh? We'll talk to you throughout the show. The first stage will be right after these commercial messages. I like I like the really monotone reading that he's doing here. This fits really well. It's it's uh it puts you on edge a little bit. The mummy is the prize. What kind of show is this? I guess we have no choice but to accept the challenge. If we win, we might learn something about terror too. Oh well. If this is a competition, I'm gonna do my best, Ryuki. I'll finish the scan before the commercials even end. Somnium scan, activate! Burning! Sword! Anchor shot. Oh, that's a lot. Oh. Amame made contact with Terror by completing in by competing in the quiz show. You might be able to gain information about Terror. Are we actually going to have a quiz, or is it just going to be Dream Logic again? Stage one. Let's begin. We will be reading the questions. Very exciting. 
I guess he's not going to read the questions himself. Makes sense. I hope Amame reads them, and every time she just picks up the card, and it just says dot dot dot, and then he just gets the answer right, and we're like, what the fuck, this is bullshit! I wonder who it'll be. Here we go. Oh, it's Mizuki! Mizuki? Hello, I'm Mizuki Date. I don't really get trivia questions or whatever, but here's the first one. Wait, Date's his last name? What the hell? Stage one is the scavenger quiz. We filled okay. the studio with different items. Big Rex Please vibes. choose the item you think is the answer. Quickest to answer wins. I guess it's like a scavenger hunt? Guess so. Here's the first question. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. Huh. That's the question? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Tough one right from the start. <laughs> what? What are you... What are you... What? Oh, hold on, my Tamagotchi. Does Santa really exist? It exists. I'm Santa. You become Santa. You become Santa. Down the chimney, E. It's gonna damage my hair, E. Solar system, solar system. I. Uh, this thing. Isn't this from Sunfish Pocket? It's a trident given to the members. This one is Orichalcum. The highest rank. Oh, that's that's a really important resource. You need a lot of that. Ori Calcum, the legendary ore. It sounds kind of exciting. You have the mind of an edgy teenager, Ryuki. When I was a kid, I used to draw so many swords. I would try to figure out which one was the strongest. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, God. Your cringeworthy past. It hurts. Anyway, the answer to this question is Trident. I like the claw weapon here. Three blades that go wham and clack! Oh, it hurts! Please, Wait. don't make me listen to you talk about this anymore! Let's go! Mommy likes music and voices. She collected sound. She became something from something. Okay, I don't I don't understand what it's what it's doing. So which which is correct? But there's no question. <laughs> Or did I space out? Am I even more tired than I realize? We just supposed to guess? Which is correct? We just supposed to go with the clues that it's, that it's giving us? Is there anything like with music? Oh, should we do uh, omelet rice with ketchup on it? Sunfish pockets omelet rice. Something related to Mame is the answer. So I think this works. The answer is omelet rice. Uh. Hmm. I guess the question wasn't meant to be so personal. That seems to be the case. Let's think about it. She became good at gleaning info from sounds. Okay. The sounds of a fish. Metal pipe. Vokeman. Vokeman. The song Gen gave to Amame. It's inside that cassette tape. But why did you think this was the right answer? The BGM and this label. I just connected the dots. Good enough reason for me. The answer is Vilkman. Ding! Yay! Well, this song name sucks. Challenger. That's correct. Good job, Ryuki. It was the ninth, so I chose the label with a nine. You sound like you could do this all day. Huh? Did you say Date? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you, in love with him or something? Yes. Mame's always listening to Gen's song with this. Oh boy. Amami was trouble, but she always chose the something. Something or something, she chose the something. Rain or shine, she chose. Good or bad, she chose. The right thing. Uh. Now let's move on to the next question. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. It's the same question again. BGM is different. Alright, where's number six? Do, 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 do. Think. Thinking time. There's a label in front of each of the objects. I'm sure the labels have something to do with the answer. What's our next hint? 
Maybe it's the BGM again. Okay, I, I don't know this music. Should we do six? Because it's upside down nine? Shows to something. So we show, shows to something. What are even the options? We have omelet rice. We have an Adora rabbit. We have headphones. Headphones. Shoma's headphones. Oh, there's Shoma's. Is this the answer? God damn it. I thought with the music playing and all, the answer might have something to do with headphones. I see. So the answer is headphones. Oh no, that's not it. I think we're on the right track. She always shows the right option. Something, something. She shows the... Okay, I guess we just have to guess. Because I don't know it. I can picture this thing being at Brahmin. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, the answer is this. The elephant trinket. Oh, okay, it's it's elephant trinket. All right. Challenger, you are correct. Keep it up. The BGM was Symphony Number no. Five, so the correct answer was the one with five on it. Oh, okay. Like I I've heard the music before, but I don't know like offhand uh, the name of it. Okay. Yeah, it's easy if you know the title of the song. When Mame saw this at the store, she bought it right away. She said it made her super lucky. Wonder if it worked. This is the last question of stage one. Oh boy. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. It's the last one. Let's get this. I've heard this song somewhere. Is this is this Pacabell? Maybe it just sounds like Pacabell? Is it Pacabell? Pacabell Cannon in D? D? It's Mizuki's favorite doll. It's not, is it? Mr. Date told me. Oh, it's important to her. Maybe something important to Mizuki is the answer. Then the answer is Ado Rabbit. Err. Uh, fuck. I don't know it, it. Sorry. Mizuki is the host. This kind of sucks. Does that matter? What? Do, the do answer you... is this. Okay, great. Why was that the answer? Correct, champion. All right. I'm going to defend my championship throne. <sighs> He's not the champion for nothing. Why was G he must the answer? really earned that Quiz King title. That's the end of the scavenger quiz. All right. Let's look at the results. The challenger is in the lead. Can they take the champion's throne? I guess this shows the standings. We're in blue. I've seen a quiz show like this before. So it's, it's just Mame. something is wrong with her. So it's just do you happen to know the name of, of these songs? And if you do, then you can get the answer. That's kind of lame. It's Aaron G. Okay, that makes sense. Why? Why? Oh, she talks. Why? No, what do you mean? No. How was I supposed to get it? If that's not the case. What am I missing? What did she say? If you pick the option and think about multiple times, you can see it, but that, then I'm wasting time, right? I'm gonna run out of time for the whole summoning because I probably need all the time I can get. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do the thinking. Maybe, maybe you can. I couldn't make it out. She's not doing too good. Stage two is brought to you by me, Aset. You bet. It's Iris this time. Iris with no pep? That's something you don't see every day. I'm sure my fans know this about me, but I'm really into the occult. 
So my questions are going to be about occult things. Okay, the cool. The name of the stage is Occult Quiz. Well, it's a trivia show. That, yeah, but I, I'm playing video game. I'm not playing a trivia show. Or word. Like, it makes sense, but it's from a gameplay perspective, it's just kind of shit. It's just, do you know this? No? Okay, well, you're shit out of luck then, I guess. Good luck. Here is the first question. It's not like a huge question. Uh, sorry, it's not like a huge problem. You can stumble your way through it, but it's just kind of lame. Which of these represents a historical secret society, and can you name it? Uh, I remember Brother. Boy Scouts are definitely a secret society. Well, if it's any from A, it's that one. I don't know. Hmm. It's either A or B, right? Oh, it's which one has a secret society in it? Yeah, but we need to answer with the actual name, not A or B. Oh, okay. Okay, so one of these represents a secret society, and we have to name it. Let's think about it. Begin. Okay, first of all, I have an eye back here. Huh? I'm going with brother. What should we say? Brother. Oh no. Uh What? Ace. Which is the secret society? Can I spell any of these? No. Uh, I can spell entertainment. I can't spell idle. Is it a trick? I'm not supposed to... Am I supposed to, like, say A and then do something else? Or... Or am I supposed to answer something that's not on here? Will entertainment even fit? No. Okay, so I'm supposed to pick something else that that is not on here. Um, I can't do Illuminati, right? What are some of the others? I think I could do... I could do stonemason. Does that fit? Isn't it stonemasons? That fits. Is there anything else that fits? Because that doesn't seem right to me. Boy, no. Grand. I mean, it fits. Let's try it. No, that's not it. Oh, was that wrong? We have time to think these over. Let's be more careful. Who the fuck is stone? The stonemasons. What should we Who say? controls the bridge? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to do. I, I, I straight up just don't know what to do. Hmm. There are a few famous secret societies out there. Okay, can we go somewhere and think? Because it said let's think about it. Nope, doesn't look like it. 
Is there a clue? Is there a clue in here? What should we say? I, I don't know what it wants from me, chat. I'm sorry. Oh, I just got it. Fuck you, Joe. Okay, is this how chat's gonna be? Were you getting the stream early today? Joe, you're British. I am British. What's not going to do with anything? I can't do knives at law. I don't even think that would fit, would it? I don't have an X for it, so I can't do knives at law. I remember brother being in VLR. And they were... Were they free the soul, or was that somewhere else? Does that work? Does that fit? No. That's not here. I don't have an H. I can do fray to free, though. Were they a secret society? Is that what they said earlier? No, it's not it either. Damn it. The answer is this. Freemasons. Oh, it's the Freemasons! Oh, okay. Correct, champion. Well done. Oh, that one. I thought it was Hades Fire Club. What kind of crazy club is that? Imagine saying stonemasons. I legit thought the stonemasons just was just another uh, name for the Freemasons. I've heard of both before. The power of the Simpsons, I guess. When in doubt or hiding something, she chose something. Here comes the second question. Many unidentified mysterious animals, or umas, have been discovered. Oh no, am I gonna have to spell chupacabra? I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> Which one is smaller? An uma question. I'm not too confident here. <sighs> have confidence. Judging from the characteristics of A and B, this could be easy. Begin. What should we say? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't know how to spell that. I don't know how to spell it. Can I, can I just, okay. This is fair to look up because I just don't know how to spell it. I got the answer. Oh, 
I spelt it right. Oh, okay. I do know how to spell it. There you go. How about B, Chupacabra? Correct, Challenger. Good answer. Bigfoot A is up to 10 feet tall. Chupacabra B is no more than 6 feet tall. Damn, that's still bigger than I was thinking. Scary. They could be the same size as you, Ryuki. That is a scary thought. This is oh, the last okay. question of the occult quiz. Which of these two things affect the human psyche and behavior, A or B? Uh, subliminal? Is that what they want? Effect is sort of vague. There could be a lot of answers. I guess we're supposed to choose the best representative answer. Begin. What kind of dance do you like? We're gonna have to Google how to spell subliminal too, just to make sure we get it right, if it's even there. What should we say? Sub limb in null. The answer is B, subliminal. There we go. Oh, we got it. Okay, cool. Correct. Marvelous. Imagine watching a video and a juice container appears. All right, I'm imagining even it. Even if it's only for a split second, Faster than the brain can even consciously register it, the viewer is struck by the desire to buy juice. That is the subliminal effect. Maybe all of us are subconsciously affected by someone or something. Now that you mention it, I do kind of want some juice. You're just thirsty. That is all for the occult quiz. I wonder what the panel looks like now. Well, 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 the challenger is keeping up. That's it for stage two. I wonder, do we just need to get more than him or do we have to like keep the board clear? Cause when she started talking to us, like this was covering it. I wonder if there are important squares. Some are more important than others. Three stages left. Let's keep it up. Oh, Amame showed up again. Why did this? Something about Mame. Thought the difference? Is it about the case? Uh-oh. I don't know. We don't know enough to say for sure. The prize is Mame, right? If we win, we can ask her directly. Why is the four off center? Now I, Gen Ishiagane, will be asking the questions. Gen next. Stage three is spot the difference. Huh? Man, I really need to clean my monitor. But... The challenger will attempt to find the differences from there. What? Find the differences? There are three monitors in the room. What is shown on the screen is different from what is actually there. You have to spot these differences. 
Wait, what? What do you mean? Compare the monitor and the real scene. There are four differences. Okay, Mizuki's dead, she's dead, we're in it. Uh, okay, we just need to compare things. Doesn't seem too hard. Don't be so sure. There's a ton of stuff to look through. We gotta be careful. Now we will begin. Okay, Mizuki's dead. Mizuki. Mizuki. Vegeta. She's not moving at all. No. We can ignore why she's bloody for now. But in any case, this looks like a difference. Oh. That is correct, Challenger. Oh, okay. Ugh, it hurts. So there's going to be three obvious ones and one fuck you one. Okay. What do you have toilet paper in your backpack? Mizuki. What's going on? Amame came across many something, 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 something. Okay. Alright, so this 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 is not a wrench. Blue figure is split. From top to bottom. I think it's symbolizing the case. Is that a wrench on the screen? How is it related? There's so much going on. I don't get it. But at least we can say this is another difference. That is correct, Challenger. Whoa. I don't know how to describe it. It's more... corpsey? Mommy came across many wounded things. Okay. Okay, that looks right. It looks like it's the right arm. Hmm? That's... Okay, you're not dead. And there's no blue person there. Kizuna! Kizuna! No reaction. She looks different from the monitor. One difference is Kizuna. That is correct, Challenger. <laughs> Kizuna? She disappeared. Important things, the heart, blood. Okay. And you're not porn up okay. This magazine was in the studio too. It's in pieces though. Should we piece it together? No. I think this is fine as is. I see. It's a difference. That Joe, my roommate is watching me. I caught her up with AI. And you, can you say hi to her? Hello, Jungle Drake, uh, roommate. How you doing? Got there you go, done. There is a blue figure on the monitor in the same place. How does that relate to the book? Whoa. It's blood. This is creepy. Okay, is there a, a secret fifth one? The important things the heart, the blood, she carries all of it inside. The challenger got all the answers correct. Good work. I am amazing. No, it's hard to celebrate after seeing that. I mean, technically, the eye being in the scene was another difference. Whoa, this again? Why didn't that count? Why was that so easy compared to do you know oh, the names of these music? We made it back to the studio. Huh? Isn't that... Oh. Sheesh. 
shouldn't make an old geezer walk so much. Uh-oh. Komeiji. It's the same as when the body was found, so it probably is. Well done. Let's check the board. Oh man, it's going so well. The challenger is putting up a good fight. If the game is still going, can the champion continue? Uh, I don't know. Ryuki. Yeah. I need to pee chat. I hope nothing scary happens. Ultimate 50 50. Okay. What was that plot? J just guess on my own. Coin flip time? Alright. This is way too deep. Good work, Challenger. Giving me a run for my money. Andy's Komeji. Other than the voice, he seems to be okay. I see that you're quite capable, so now it's my turn to deliver the quiz. The fourth stage is the ultimate 50-50. I thought we were competing against him. Yeah, the way he is now, he obviously can't answer any questions. The rules are simple. Answer the questions as quickly as possible, on instinct. Challenger, go sit at the deluxe chair over there. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. There are ten questions. If you need to use the restroom, do it now. All right. Okay. We're back. You should do the same.
All right, we ready, chat? How fast are these gonna come in? Are they gonna be multiple choice, or do we have to like type in the answer? Because if they're complicated questions that require like complex words, just checking the spelling of it might be difficult compared to the timer. Tom is looking good as always. Yep. Thank you, Horox F for the resub. Thank you, Nap Napalip, Napilp for the resub. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And Fentyrus for the resub as well. Thank you very much. All right, let's go. It's fine. I've never used the bathroom in my life. Whoa. What? Do you have an image to maintain? <laughs> in any case, let's begin. All right. Question. <laughs> Which would you rather eat? Poo flavored curry or curry flavored poo? Poo flavored curry. That what if question has been around forever. I didn't know there was a correct answer. Hmm. Forget about the flavor. At least that one is edible. Exactly. Like, either way, you're going to be throwing up. I'd rather be throwing up and, like, not getting sick. The answer is poo-flavored curry. Guess I was right. After we're done here, I'll be sure to order you a bowl of poo-flavored curry on Goober Eats. Goober Eats? Would that even be on the menu? Yes. Next question <laughs> what is this who wants to be a millionaire music bullshit if you could use a time machine would you go to the future or the past future future another question with no right answer is this how it's going to be future hmm, that's a hard question no it's not future Future. I guess you can't stop wondering when you'll meet the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. The answer is future. Yeah. Hey, you may have met them already. What? The person who you'll spend the rest of your life with. Next question. Which would you rather have, an ideal job or an ideal lover? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, we can just sit here and think about it? Huh. What if my ideal job includes an ideal lover? Lawyered. Lawyered. My ideal lover includes a job, that's for sure. <sighs> I already have my ideal job, so... Ideal lover. Yay! Ooh. It's right! What? Are you angry? No, I'm not angry. Oh, we're in. Next question. Be truthful and be poor, or lie and make money. Which would you choose? Uh, lie and make money. Lie and make money, absolutely. Well, I'd rather be rich than poor, so... You gotta hustle. The answer is lie. Yeah! So the really be saying that? Well, maybe that was a lie. Next question. Which is worse to lose, the father or mother? Uh, both equally bad. Like, what are, you, what are you talking about? What? Well, I, I am the father, so I'm going father. I don't think there's any good choice here. The father? I will lose my shift. Says no. The answer is father. Why did you choose that? Uh, I f 
felt like it. Get shit on moms? Oh man. Oh man. Next question. Which would be worse to lose? Sight or hearing? Sight. Sight. Visual information is Sight. important. I used to lay awake in bed as a child and just think about this kind of thing all the time. I would just lay there and thinking, what would be worse? Would I rather lose my sight or my hearing? And I'd be like, well, I would rather lose my sense of smell because that's probably the best one to lose because but I would still hate it. And I'd just, just would be absolutely terrified of like all the senses I could, I could lose in the future or whatever, yeah. The answer is sight. I think sight would be the worst one to lose. Oh, thanks. Is that your way of saying that I'm important? Would you rather lose your hands or your eyes? Oh man. I think I'd rather lose my hands. Cause like prosthetic hands are are half decent. They're still not they're still not great. They're not like a full replacement. But I think I'd rather lose my hands. Whereas there are no, there's nothing that can replace your eyes. Yeah, sure. Next question. Someone important was hurt in front of you. Do you make the person responsible apologize or get revenge? I, I need, I need more context than that. Come on. I need more context than that. Revenge. Honestly, I can see why someone would choose revenge. The answer is revenge. I think revenge is deeply underrated. I don't know. I think we're in the middle of a cultural shift right now that, that people have like we've we've like deluded ourselves and think revenge isn't a very good thing. I think revenge is really underrated. I feel like a failure as a keeper of the peace. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the level of revenge matters. Yeah, context matters a lot here. If you kill someone, that would make you a failure as a keeper of the peace and a human being. Yeah, it depends on what they did. They have to do something really bad to deserve that, but you know, there's there's a list of possibilities for sure. Next question. What would you do if your best friend and your family are about to die, but you could only save one? Which family? What, what, which family? Like, like, like one of my kids, my wife, or like a distant cousin or something like, like which, which family? What if my best friend is my family? What? Okay, well, given the context, I have to go with family, because it could be the whole family. Not sure. Family? Family. Family. The answer is family. Family. I wonder what the point of all these questions is. I don't know. Man. Only two more left. We've nailed all these questions, huh? Like, holy shit. Extremely disagree. In my in my opinion, revenge is absolutely useless. Well, congratulations on the on the life you've had. If you think, <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, no, that's fair. Maybe you're a better person than me. You probably are. Next question. I can never meet my loved one again. What? If you could just forget sadness, what do you forget? Or remember? You mean only the sad memory? Remember. I won't forget. I won't allow myself to forget. And what makes you who you are? If I do, I think that all my memories of them would disappear too. The answer is to not forget. Yeah. Miyuki. Maybe I'm conflating revenge and justice a little bit, though. Like, in my mind, the revenge usually has a point. 
Hmm. Revenge is not justice. Revenge can be justice. They can be combined, for sure. Next question. More than one thing can Which be true. Which do you choose? Have your biggest secret spilled or be part of some dangerous plan? Oh, I'll be a part of some dangerous plan. That sounds exciting past as hell. Past future. Have your past secret exposed or your future compromised by some scheme? Be a part, I, I'll I'm a part of something. Past and trust my future. Hell yeah. So the answer is be a part of a plan. Yeah. Oh man, we got all these right. Secrets and schemes and all. It's hard to answer. Are we a part of the stonemasons now? Yeah, it could be anything. It could even be a plan. That is it. Yeah. The challenger answered all questions correctly. 100%. King sick just watching. <laughs> Holy crap. This is what the standings look like. Now I think I completely understand you, challenger. Uh oh. I lied. I lied. All my answers were lies. You don't you don't know me. You don't know me. Huh? What? Things are getting ominous. The challenger now has the right to attempt the final stage. There are four total questions. If you get them all right, you win. What is this? Komeji's voice is... It's starting to sound like, uh, uh, Dahlia. And, and these questions have to abide by the answers you just gave to the ten questions before, so I hope you remember them all. Oh, shit. Alright, here we- What, what do you mean? I won! One. I won! What are you talking about? What is this face? Uh, uh, gross? Intimidated, threatened, pressured, terrorized. Uh, th these are all the same. They're all the, the, all of them. Fucking all of them. Th threatened? Th it's when Dahlia threatened her. It gotta be threatened. Alright, all right, cool, alright. Cool. This. Question two. What is this? What is this? Dead. Andy's Komeji, former quiz king, Shoma's father. Yonaharu Enda. I mean... That was his name, right? Half of Shoma's father. Are they all right? Shoma's father. Alright, cool. Big pyre What's anus vibes right now, yeah. About? I agree, chat, yeah. Big pyre anus uh, vibes. Man in the Iron Mask, Culprit, Man in Black, Terror. I mean, I guess it has to be Terror. Are we gonna run out of time? Perform action without using time. Oh, 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 thank you, thank you. Holy crap, holy crap, thank you. But then the next one is even more Mommy time. must have heard about the Nirvana initiative from him. I swear to God, if they just debated me into using that Timmy, and now the next one you need the Timmy for. I swear to God. I got Gretchen again. My only option now is... Shame. Sh oh, it's 999. Alright, that's good. Well. Well. What are you asking? What do you mean? I don't know. Beyond comprehension. There we go. What? Correct. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it either, but this is probably everything that's happened to Mame. The challenger wins. 
Do, 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 that do, do, was do, it. Do, 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 do. What was that? What, what the? Congratulations. 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 Congratulations to you. Congratulations. <laughs> This is a Pokemon reference, isn't it? So are we in Big Shell or what? Time though. Tama, talk to Mame. Quick. Amame, tell me. What did Terra say to you? He said, act natural and don't tell anyone I'm here or I'll shoot you Nirvana in the head. And that was it. Collected. Genocide. What? What do you mean? Tama, be more specific. Mommy must have some kind of critical information. I think she is being specific. No, Ryuki, we're out of time. No. Let's get out of here. Wow, this was useless. Didn't understand the last question. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, do we do this again? Oh, I kind of split her in half there with with the hat, and uh, it, it looked pretty good, like like two different people. That was neat. Mommy is still sleeping. I think we gave her too much. So, two nights ago, Leo was watching Kazoops, as as he does. Kazoops is a show. I hate it. I hate Kazoops so much. It has every single episode, it has this, this like anemic folk indie music that plays. And it just always sounds the same, and I hate it. Kazoops, I hate it so much. It's like like painfully British, and I am British, so I know what, what that's like. So he's watching it, and he knows I don't like it, but we still obviously like my preference doesn't matter when it comes to them watching TV. I'll just I'll just put up with it. So he's he walks away from from the TV, and he sees my computer screen that I have Googled Kazoops because I have Googled. Does anyone else think Kazoops sucks? Because I wanted to read some other parents bitching about the show online. All right, so he comes over and he sees a picture of of Kazoops on the computer, and he's like, "Why are Why are you watching Kazoops too?" And I said to him, "I'm not. I was just looking some stuff up about it because it's killing me." Okay, and he walks away and then turns and goes, "Then how come you're not dead?" Owned hard. Oh man, owned so hard. We needed pewter. Anyway, that's Somnium. Pewter. His final words are thought provoking. Nirvana. Are they? Collected. Genocide. Something to do with the Nirvana initiative? Update Marvel Race? Oh, is it, um. Does it need to be restart? Okay, one second. Do the kids watch Blippi? Yeah, unfortunately they watch Blippi. You know what though? Blippi is... There are way worse things than Blippi, as I always say when we talk about Blippi. There are way worse things. I would much rather them watch Blippi than, than Genevieve's Playhouse. Although, Blippi is, is guilty of copaganda, as many of the kids' shows are. 
these paws uphold the law. Like very, very common to see propaganda in a lot of the uh, in a lot of the kids' media. All right, it's extended. There you go. What about Bluey? Fucking, fucking, fuck your Bluey! Every single time we talk about kids' media, we have to talk about Bluey. None of them have seen seen Bluey. Although I do have to say, there was a skit where Blippy was wanted by the police, and he got pulled over. And he pretended that he wasn't the person that they were looking for. And then he was like, he I got away with it and drove off. So, you know, sometimes Blippi has his moments. Blippi is at least educational and Blippi, Blippi will, some of the Blippi stuff is really bad. Where, like, there was one where he, um, he like, let's wash a car and he poured ketchup and mustard all over a car and then cleaned it. You know, or let's see what, what bunch of things sink or float. And it's like, he's got like a, a tub of water and it's like, does this sink or does this float? And I guess it's all right, whatever. But then there are other times where he's like, we're going to actually go to a fire station and we're going to go through a fire truck and I'm going to show you all the pieces of the fire truck. Or like, I'm going to show you all, all the different um, components of a boat or we're going to go, we're going to go snowmobiling, you know, like some of them are actually pretty interesting. Um, so I like Blippi for that. He is really annoying, but like, it's not for me. Right. Whereas stuff like Genevieve's Playhouse is just so bad or, or he who shall not be named, who's actually banned. That's the worst one, but they don't even remember that anymore. So, so that, that's good. Um, Finn likes to watch Terraria videos at the moment, which is kind of annoying, but it's sorry it's more annoying because i don't know what's safe and what's not so like we have to be really careful about what he watches that's the annoying part not not the videos themselves coco oh they watch coco melon and and um and uh little angel and bebe finn bebe finn is the best one of the three some of the songs that bebe finn has are actually pretty catchy i fucking hate coco melon and um and little angel Something to do with the Nirvana initiative. I uh, thank you to Bigs Bigzel35? BGZL35 for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Materialist Thick. Thick for the resub. Thank you, Paramo Nata for the resub. And thank you, Cas Caskin Dragon. Caskin Dragon. I think that that's what it is. For the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Dragon. Thank you very much. Probably. A bunch of people who watched it have gone missing. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location. And they're all getting murdered. Mm -hmm. So the rumors were true. Were they? Ryuki, you've got a call. From who? Pick up and find out. Aiba? Quiet. Stop yelling. This is an emergency. What is it? Kizuna Chieda. She's gone missing. What? No. Where, who are you with? Ryuki, you can provide invaluable assistance. Will you look for Kizuna? Well, yeah. Of course. This is weird. Understood. Good luck. Kizuna. Are you fucking with us? Missing? It was her Under idea the... to have a video yeah, night at the cafe. Maybe Kizuna saw the video and... Nirvana... Collected... Genocide... I can't believe Stonemason has overpowered my memory of Freemason. Fucking Simpsons. Not all a dream. Ryuki Chapter 5 R1. Ryuki, you look more drained than a bathtub. Are you okay? Yeah. Were you able to get some sleep? No, not really. But it's fine. This is nothing. If you say so. I'm sorry, did she just say you look more drained than a bathtub? <laughs> what Uma do you like? Uh, last time we went Mothman, right? Loch Ness Monster. A genius soccer player from Argentina E. What? Nessie is real for sure. Ryuki, those 
who sell water are up to no good. What kind of advice is that? That's true. That's true. I agree with us. Maybe Kizuna is bait. Terror is trying to bait us. Ryuki, someone on this poster knows something. Bring them all in here for questioning. You just want to meet them, don't you? That's where Kizuna is. Oh? Where? Somewhere around here. I won't let that tragedy happen again. No matter what. What? Of a broken clock being right? What? Twelve minute reference? Ooh, maybe it is. How are you doing? You okay, Ryuki? Your eyes are bloodshot. You need to get some sleep? That's because you've been staring at boss's chest too long. Eyes? Eyes? Plural? Mistake or clue? N no! I was just looking at you, Tama. I wasn't thinking about how wonderful it would be to put my face in boss's cleavage at all. Very convincing. I feel like she's into it. Mm. Same old, same old. Why do you ask? No, it's just... Well, because... You're stupid! The person who says you're stupid is stupid! The person who says you're stupid is stupid is stupid! Ryuki, are you doing okay? Like, mentally? You're the one who got him like this. Me? What did I do? It's all right now! Because oh, I for am here! Fuck's sake. Half for all! Full time! Something! I hate the half might bit. There's something important to me. It's something I love. It's dear. And it's irreplaceable. And I need to protect it, no matter what. So I can't be saying I'm tired or I don't have the energy. What are you talking about? I have no idea. Yeah, you still need to sleep, bud. That's just something that has to happen. I'd rather have Marmite than this Halfmite shit. And I hate Marmite. This is how I appear in Tom's Vision. Actually, maybe I'd like Marmite now. I hate it when I was a kid. Wait, wait, wait. I did this one already. Close. Not bad. No, you are sweating a little. Because you're radiating heat. Kizuna disappeared after watching the video, right? I've heard the stories about people going missing after watching some video. It could mean that she's with the other people that disappeared. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location. And they're all getting murdered. Murdered. I think it's safe to say that the QR video has to do with our terror. After all, the QR video that linked there was found on Jin's body. That connects terror to the disappearances. Meaning, if we find where Kizuna and the others disappeared to, we might be able to find Terror as well. If I knew, I would have told you already. Needless to say, Kizuna's phone isn't any help. We asked her friends too, but none of them know where she is. Sorry, but I really don't have anything useful for you. Oh man, I actually kind of fell asleep a little there. Holy fuck, sorry. Whoa! <laughs> God, that all right? One second. <laughs> Whew! <laughs> Shit! All right, let's let's pick up the pace game. Come on, keep me entertained. None of this is adding up. <laughs> we want to discover Terror's identity, how they chose their victims, why they cut them in half. What is going on inside the head of a serial killer like that? I'd have a better chance of guessing what's going on inside the head of a teenager. Are you talking about your daughter? Yeah, she didn't come home last night. <laughs> I was able to get a hold of her, so I know she's safe. But she worries me. She doesn't even seem to realize it. All right, her daughter. Maybe she got that from you. It isn't Kizzy no, then. Okay. No, that can't be it. They just look because alike. Because she's adopted. Okay. 
Is it just Mizuki? Well, it was Richi who first reported her missing. It was late and Kizuna wasn't home yet, so he called the police. He thought she might have been kidnapped for ransom, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So far, it doesn't look like the culprit has tried to contact the family at all. Sorry, that someone's knocking on the door, but they're not. They're knocking on a different door, not my door. Okay. In any case, you have one goal. Find Kizuna, no matter what. Finding her should be a breakthrough in the HB case. Why? Right, but where do we even look? We need to turn over every stone. Ryuki, Tama, good luck. Roger that. Let's go. Couldn't catch the last few streams since I had an important statistics exam. How are you liking the game? Who cares about that? How did the statistics exam go? Did you pass? If you haven't got your results yet, do you, do you feel like you did well? So far, the first one has been way better than this. I don't remember being bored that often in the first one, except for when I was meticulously scanning every single thing in a room. I've been kind of bored. Can you tell a knock-knock joke? Sure, you start. Did we get an answer about the exam? Knock knock. Who's there? What? Do 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 No one here. She's not here, move on. Looks like it. Ryuki, why did we come here? Kizuna's disappearance is related to the video. That video was based on Bats 490, created by Nice. So I thought we might find a hint here. Look. It's Tokiko's hologram. But why did it suddenly appear? It must play automatically when it detects a visitor. Welcome. I apologize, but I am currently unavailable. In my absence, would you like to hear me speak about one of these three themes? <laughs> Chakra. Mandela effect. Birthday. Please select one. Upon selection, I will elucidate the theme. <laughs> What kind of ego do you have to have to set up a hologram that's just gonna riff on your bullshit when you're not here? Like, what the fuck? Wait, why is the glass doll not broken anymore? Who fixed the glass doll? This will be a lengthy explanation. Oh my god. It's quite alright with you. Let me begin. I will ask a few questions. When President Kennedy was assassinated, was he in a four-seater car? Uh, I don't... I, I think so? I, I don't... I don't know. King Tut's golden mask was it just a cobra perched on the forehead? I don't know enough about King's Tut's golden mask to, to say for sure. Do you remember learning in school that the solar system is located on the edge of the galaxy? We're, uh, we're not on the edge, but we're not really close to the middle either. I, is this, did they define it that we're on the edge? Like we're, we're pretty far from the center. Did you learn that the heart is located on the left side of the chest? It, 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 it is. It, it's, a li it's a little to the left. It, 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 that's where I can, I can feel it right there. It is, yeah. On passenger planes, are the engines completely tucked beneath the wings? Yes. 
On Shakespeare's portrait, he wasn't wearing earrings, was he? I don't remember. Do you remember a certain human cyborg relations robot character from a famous space opera being gold all over? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Human cyber. Oh, the Star Wars 3PO being gold all over? Is is he not gold all over? The heart is not in your left. What what the fuck are you talking about? Your your heart is not directly in the in the middle of your chest. What are you talking about? It's on the left slightly. On the left slightly means it's on the left. It's like put put your fingers, right? Put two fingers directly like in the center of your chest, equidistant from your two nipples or your three nipples if you're one of those people. And then just like, I don't know, like maybe a couple couple finger widths to the left. It's 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 a little to the left. Call the sternum. I don't think I'm being very stern. It's just that people need to be corrected. That's all. These are all false, untrue. I don't believe you. Kennedy was in a six-seater. There is a vulture along with a cobra on the golden mask. Our solar system is not at the edge of the Milky Way, but nestled within it. Our hearts are nearer to the center of our chests. N n nearer, nearer. D oh my God. Passenger plane engines are often installed in front of, not entirely underneath, the wings. Semantics. Semantics. Okay, I remember the leg thing with C-3PO. Like, it's just people just probably just didn't even fucking pay attention to his leg. Shakespeare has an earring. The golden robot's lower right leg is actually silver. These inconsistencies in memory and misremembered facts are known as the Mandela Effect. South Africa's former president, Nelson Mandela, passed away in 2013. See, what the Mandela effect works for me because, like, I, I am one of the people that remembers him dying before that. And I, and I don't, it's probably that, no, I don't, I think I, 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 I had that thought before I learned about the Mandela effect, though. Memory's so flawed, though. But many people claim to remember that he died in the 1980s. This was how the name Mandela Effect came to be. I think the Berenstein Bear thing is more likely, and we should name it that instead of the Mandela Effect. But why do these inconsistencies occur? Because they're your mom. Or more intriguingly, are they really false memories? Is it possible memory is more correct than history? This world is only a simulation, and that fact makes such a thing possible. This is what oh. we, Nyes, believe. One second, Tostito. I think I did okay on my exam. It's my big weakness in my psychology degree so far, but it was Statistics 4, which is the last one. Well, I hope it went well for you. If you think it went well, it probably did. The Mandela Effect is an example of the seams that appear when the world is updated. In other words, bugs. The creator had to add these changes for some reason. Literally, I cannot possibly fathom being wrong in the conspiracy theory. Yeah, it explains why it's so popular online, especially in among some, uh, you know, uh, chat rooms, uh, online chat forums, chat scrolling, YouTube comments. You know, it's really popular. But this caused inconsistencies between memories and actual history. This is how we explain the discrepancy. And lastly, where is the Statue of Liberty located? Liberty Island or Ellis Island? All right, if it's Liberty, Liberty Island again, that means we've morphed back. In this world, it is Ellis Island. There is no Liberty Island in New York Bay. Okay. How'd you know about Liberty Island then? Chakra is a concept from Hinduism and esoteric Buddhism. 
There are points in the body where energy flows in and out. But the energy we are most concerned with is information energy. In other words, data itself. Imagine the concept thusly. Our bodies, which are mere images, input and output data in the form of chakra. There are seven chakras along the center of the body. Counting from the bottom, the first is located at the base of the spine, or perennia. The second, the sacral chakra, is just below the belly button. The third is located on the solar plexus, the fourth in the center of the chest. Five, six, and seven are on the throat, between the brows, and on top of the head, respectively. Imagine a hypothetical situation in which a body is bisected down the middle. Hypothetical, yeah. What will happen to the chakras? They die. Chakras are points. By definition, a point cannot be reduced further. It cannot be severed from itself. Why? So the chakras will remain tethered between the left and right sides of the body. Like a string. No. A very strong string that cannot be cut. No. No matter how far apart the two sides drift. No, the the points would be in whatever half is is bigger. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Tokiko. Happy birthday to me. Why did she start singing? It's her birthday. Oh, right. It's Tokiko's birthday today. Still. Born on Valentine's Day? Or is it is it the next day now? Hmm. Yeah, there was a day change there. Now it's updated. Okay. Shutting down. Target lost. Are you still there? Why aren't we asking about the statue? <gasps> Allow me to tell you something important, though you may already know. Uh. Kizuna has been taken by. Terror. Ryuki, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I just got a little dizzy. Anyway, we need to find... Kizuna. Alright, thank you, Chikoshi. Very cool. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Okay, hopefully most of these are empty. Are you a researcher here? I'm Kuruto Ryuki, from the Metropolitan Police Department. Right, you were here four days ago, I remember. I wanted to ask you some questions. Happy, happy. Ryu Why would I do that? Ryuki, Ryuki, drink it. Ryuki, Ryu Ryu Ryuki, it might make your thingy bigger. I'm not gonna risk my life for that. Oh, I think you misunderstood. I was talking about your areolas. Now I'm even more reluctant. 
What should I do if I saw a UFO? Wave, get on. Hide thumb? A hearse. I'm going to say itty. What? Momoka, it's okay. What are you doing on the phone? I'll clean up the keyboard. Momoka. You don't have to think about that. It's irrelevant. Okay. I already told the other detectives, but we don't have any information that could help the investigation. Well, I doubt this is relevant, but rumors were going around about the director being a bit of a pervert. A pervert? Didn't he seem that way to you? He was a very suspicious character. I agree, 100%. What the fuck is air areola? It's ravioli that's been prepared in an air fryer. Schedule Clearly you don't own an air fryer. Tough, but outside of some dire circumstance, we can't stop our research. Isn't Mr. Horidori getting killed a dire circumstance? Well, no, not to our investors. They're the ones paying for all this research. Really? That gets plus twos? That was like the lamest joke I've ever said. What are you talking about? This doesn't even make sense. It was a terrible joke. What the fuck? That made me laugh? What do you mean that made you laugh? We love when you're lame? Why don't you love me all the time that I'm always lame? What the f Yes, I know her. She's the daughter of Richi Chieda, a big stakeholder in this facility. What about her? I told them about how she went missing. Oh, oh no. That's awful. All right, Do you happen to know where she is? Someone's knocking. Is it pie or anus? Let's see. Hey, how's it going? What? Um, Lily, would you rather go? Would you rather lose your oh, sense of sight or your or your sense of hearing? I think. I think my sight. What? Yeah. You don't be blind and deaf. I think. I'm not that bad looking. Everything, everything what the hell? I really like, like music. Like I could still listen to books being read. Like I could still all have right. all that. But whereas if I can't, if I can't hear, then would you rather lose your eyes or your hands? I don't know. You don't know. How have you not thought about this before? I, mean, I don't think about these things. Okay. It's better that way. If we were, in, if you were in a time loop, and you had to convince me that you were in a time loop. How would you tell me that we were on a time loop? <clears throat> or that you were looping? That you were doing Groundhog Day? How would you do it? Let's say, let's take it down very seriously. <laughs> and I would be like, Joe. Yeah. So have you ever seen that movie? Joe, Joe? okay, yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen that movie, Groundhog Day? Yeah. And you would be like, you know, that, that one with Bill Murray? And I'd be like, yeah, that yeah. one. We're in that right now. Oh, we're in that right now. That's it? Yeah. yeah. And then you'd be like, no, we're not. We're just talking about you're crazy. And I'd be like, well, that's not news. So just trust me on this one. Trust me, for real. That's it? Yeah. You just quote the movie. I probably believe That's you. That's in the movie? I probably believe you. No, you... <laughs> I haven't seen the movie. You haven't seen it? I haven't, I haven't seen, seen it. You seen it. I don't remember that being a line in the movie. Like, am I quoting the movie? This is not going to work. Why not? Because I really... You don't like, trust me? What, what, about, what about that part in the movie? You'd be like, I don't you know. You should I just trust me. If I someone says we're in a time loop, you'd be like, okay, I'll give this I haven't, a moment I haven't spot. seen it, but I know what, 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 what it's like. Why would I about this? Yeah, what else is that like? You know? I wanted to say to you, uh, we still have leftovers from lunch, so I'm not going to make anything else. I mean, you can just have that later if you, because you're probably not going to eat again, right? So. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Because right. we'll have extra food. Quick, the kids are coming out to close the door. Quick, 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 quick. I don't want to see them. Hey, Leo. Hey, Leo. Hey, Leo. Hey, Leo. Hey, Leo. Hey, Leo. Do you happen to know where she is? Actually, I do. Yeah, sure. She's right here. I'm sorry. I don't know. I need to pee I don't again. know her personally or anything. I should have peed. 
Just to be sure, I talked to the other researchers. They don't know anything either. But they all said the same thing. There's no information. Then why did we come here? This could have been an email about the hidden room. Do you know of any hidden rooms in this building? Hidden rooms? What do you mean? Maybe a secret room that no one knows about. <laughs> That's quite the paradox. How could I tell you about a room no one knows about? Didn't these guys attack the MC two days ago? What was that about? That was on a different timeline. That that hasn't happened. And if it's a secret, I wouldn't be able to simply tell you, would I? It was made up. No secret rooms or passwords are going to lead to a hidden room. This one was thought up by a writer. Ryuki, let's hold off on the hidden room. But if Kizuna was in there... True, we can't say for sure that she isn't there. It's so bright. But we're taking a lot of time looking for some hidden room that might not even exist. We should focus our attention somewhere else. At least for now. Yeah, okay. Should we, should we alternate instead of going bottom to, to top? Should we alternate? Should we go like two on the bottom, two on the top, two on the bottom, two on the top? Should we go like that? Just to, just to mix it up a little bit? <gasps> He's Mr. here! Date? Ryuki. Hey, why are you looking at each other like that? Wait, are you two... Well, um... Don't get the wrong idea. Wait. Ryuki and I just have a very intimate relationship. I was back? So it is like that! No, no, I don't mean sexually. I mean physically. That's like the same thing. Well, not exactly the same. Okay, I understand the mask. Why is your voice back to the old... You know, whatever. Mr. Dato, <sighs> I've always wondered about the Tori. Why is the kanji a bird is there? Well, that's because back in ancient times, when Amaterasu hid in the Ame no Iwayato cave, in order to get her out, they used birds perched in a tree. Mm-hmm. <sighs> hey, don't fall asleep! Okay, my air fry air fried uh, ravioli joke is better than that. Riki, you're the one who asked. Praying mantis. What is that? It's the martial arts form, mantis. Mizuki, you're very energetic today. Uh, oh, sorry. Now's not the time to play around. Mr. Date, why do some of the statues have open mouths and some have closed mouths? That's a good question. The open-mouthed ones say, ah, and the closed-mouthed ones say, um. <laughs> okay. Joe, how many times do I need to ask you to read Raging Loop before you read it? Uh, you have to get a time machine, go back in time and ask me then, and then let me use your time machine in order to get the time to read it, and then I will do it. Oh. Okay, this is important. This is important. This is important. Hold on. Let's save it, and we're gonna we're gonna wink sync on Miz Mizuki, and then I'm gonna guess that that I was gonna counter us when we wink sync that day. Where did you go, Kizzy? I hope you're okay. All right, that was not worth it. Why did they put this weird limit in the game? All right, let's uh, escape or flowchart? Just flowchart it? Is it faster? It's, it's not, it's not faster. Just let, let's load it. We're losing daylight, daylight's burning. You need to fight Kizuna. 
You can worry about terror later. Okay. Mizuki, can I have a moment? Huh? Best well, swing sync that took more than 15 minutes to set up. I knew what Mr. Date thinks of me. What he thinks of you? Yeah. Has he said anything about me? Well, he did say you're reliable and a valuable part of the team. I see. Is now the best time to be asking me this? Shouldn't you be more focused on... I know. Sorry. Hey, Date, what does Mizuki think of me? Ah. Good question. Are you stalking me? Hell no, brat. I was looking for Kizuna and ran into you. So the first game just didn't happen, huh? Alright. Yeah, I know she went missing. I got a call late last night from Kizzy's dad. He said she wasn't home and asked if I knew where she was. So I've been looking for her. Now where's this coming from? I can't say anything yet. Wait, you know who Terror is? I'll tell you once I can confirm it. But there's something you need to do first. What's that? So, Iba's back in action. Yeah, she just came back. Oh, I miss you, Date. <laughs> I need you, Date. You should have heard her. Ow, watch it! Looks like you guys are the same as ever. I'm happy Iva's back, too. You're here to steal the offering money, aren't you? Yep. Yep. Just gotta get some fishing line and gum. And... Uh, of course I'm not! Do you think Abyss pays well? You're looking for the girl, right? Same here. We've been searching since last night, but... I don't think she's around here. Yeah. Think it pays insomniums? No point staying here any longer. Yeah. Let's split up and keep searching. Ryuki, when you find Kizuna, let me know. Understood. Good. Let's go. Now, Ryuki, we should... On it. You just stole my joke, fuck you. Seems like if you snooze, you lose. <laughs> Too busy in the Somnium to say paying in Somniums. <laughs> Alright. Studio Divida. The police are still investigating. Komeiji's body was found two days ago. It hasn't been that long. I can't believe Lily would lose her sight over her hearing. She loves to listen to music, but seriously, I don't think she's thought this through. Alright, X-Ray, he might still be here. Alright, I'm not- I'm gonna wing sync him. This guy's sus, right? Snaky, snaky, sneaky, snaky. What was that? I have no idea. I don't think she put sugar in this tea. She didn't sugar the tea. She trying to kill me? So many questions. Why was Komeiji killed? What is Terra thinking? How would we know? But I'm sure that nice ideology has to do with the HB case. I'm a veteran detective. My instincts are usually right about stuff like this. Yeah, I heard. The daughter of Richi Chieda has been kidnapped. We don't know if it's a kidnapping. Either way, I can't help you with that. I don't know her and I don't know her whereabouts. Sorry. Can we go to try somewhere else? Can we go back to the Dark Souls combo? I've always wanted to try beating the Dark Souls games without dying. Do you think that would make an entertaining stream series? Not like until we get it, but like just like now and then we go back to it and see if I can do it without dying. But with a randomizer. 
most people are saying no, so we should probably do it. I think it'd be fun. No hit, there's no way I can do a hit list, no way. <laughs> if I knew that, this would be easy. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's no new info. Have you seen this girl? Nah, I haven't. Sorry, I can't be more help. Try Sekiro, it's the best IMO. If we did Sekiro, not allowed to die, is... Is death... Death? Or is death being knocked back to a shrine? Back to a shrine is death? Hmm... The first one seems like seems like chat is split. I think it should be getting knocked back to a shrine because that's kind of part of the healing system. I think you're really annoying, Ryuki. Don't you think people are getting bored of this? We are actually. Yeah. Yo, my name is Kagami. Nice to meet you. Kagami, 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 Kagami. Kagami 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 If a workplace had the option to exchange a small but not insignificant fraction of your salary for free use of a machine that lets you have any dream you want, would you reject it as an obviously cynical way of worsening worker rights? No, I think I go for it, cause it, cause that sounds like it could make my narcopsy better. No, I'm gonna go for it. Fuck worker rights. I already know his name. I don't think you need to ask again. I'm pretty sure I know his name. I probably don't need to ask. Uh, his name is uh, what was it again? Hey, social distancing. It's Kagami. He's lost it. He's lost it. Isn't there anything, anything that connects to the culprit? He's in a... It's this girl. Hmm. I haven't seen her. It's Kazina. Alright, that's it. We're done. Leave. No leads. Ryuki, you can't let it get to you. It's shocking how little I give a shit right now. <laughs> it's like, oh, whatever. I don't care. She could be dead. She could just be being held somewhere. Man, what are they doing? The pacing of this is just Kizuna fucking is out there terrible. And she needs our help. Yeah, you're right. We have to find her. All right, Marble. All right, maybe we should just speed through it. Maybe we should just talk to talk to whoever's here, and that's it. No inspecting the 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 environment. Boy, if there's something funny. Mm -hmm. I think I see the picture. This Kizuna girl is missing. I'm sorry, but I don't have any information for you. Well, can you ask... Uh, your balls? <laughs> you sure, Ryuki? <laughs> oh, sure thing. Let's get started. Oh, balls, overflowing with wisdom. Who is Ryuki's favorite person? Mama, of course. I mean, Thomas Ball. Balls. What? Oh, that was a joke, honey. I was supposed to be funny? Okay, seriously this time. Oh, magnificent, mighty balls. Please find someone for me. How come... Other people can hear Tama, but we can't hear Aiba. Maybe we could. Maybe she just wasn't talking last scene. Kizuna Chieda. Where is she? She is beyond my vision. She is being hidden by some unknown power. Oh, 
I'm so much more tired than usual. Okay. So, how was it? Did that help? No, not really. Yeah, see, it's just a replacement for her having the contacts that she had in, in, in the first game. So it's like, instead of going through that, it's just like, oh, just fortune, crystal ball, whatever. Because how could she know this, right? So, yeah. Oh. Whatever. I'm sorry it I works. couldn't help. No, you don't have to apologize. Anyway, we need to find that girl. I'll use my connections to see if I can find any leads. You just did. Thank you. If you find anything, let me know. You got it. What track and field event do you like? Uh, the longer dash. I'm not good at medium distancy. All right. Mama is though. I know about you. All about you. Huh? Did I just say something? Uh-oh. Okay. Leon, seriously, what's the shadow that over there? Has gone missing? Or the cloud? Of course I do. I was with her right before she vanished. Oh, is it meant to be a building off in the distance and it just looks like shit? Whoa, look, look at this. What's going on over here? her back home you didn't walk her home what the hell I left the store with Kizzy just past nine I wanted to take her home but she told me she'd just take a taxi and a couple hours later around 11 I got a call from Kizzy's dad Mr. Chieda Kizuna isn't back yet is she with you when I heard that my stomach dropped my mind went blank my head was spinning I told him we split up earlier that night, and hung up. And that's when I started looking for her. I also asked two people to help me look. One is my good friend Date. The other is a former co-worker, Quartz. I told them the situation. Kizzy is missing. Please, help me find her! We're just- we're just dropping a new character right now, Quartz? Okay. Yeah. We watched some trending videos on ViewCube. And there was this one video related to the HB case. I told them we shouldn't watch it, but girls in high school have minds of their own, you know? Shit. Damn it. Where did you go, Kizzy? That, that was worth a click. Anyway, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna find her, even if it costs me my life. You guys don't give up either. Oh, we just missed, missed dialogue from I don't him. Think there are any hints here. Yeah, what a Shami. you're right. All right. What? Kizuna's missing? You didn't get a call? No, nobody told me. Kizuna, why? Freezer? I explained the circumstances. I understand. I'll help too. I'll look for Kusuna too. What about your place? I can't be worrying about that now. Amame's best friend is missing. I need to find her no matter what it takes. I'm gonna get going. Huh. There he goes. The restaurant is empty. Is it okay to just leave it like this? I checked the register with X-Ray. There's barely any cash in there. Electronic payment is the way to go nowadays. Is that right? Anyway, we should... Get going. Yeah. Help ourselves to the rest. Where is the register? Oh. 
We looked for keys in there. We searched all over campus. So we asked all the students we saw. There was no trace of her. This is where Chikara's right half was. This location is related to the HB case. So there might be some clues. That's what I was thinking anyway. But... There's nothing here. Too bad. Let's go somewhere else. I'm not licking it. How many times have we come into the Yakuza office? What? Chizzy's gone missing? You know Kizuna? Of course I do! She's the best friend of my future wife! Future wife? Does he mean Iris? That's pretty delusional. Anyway, this is a huge deal! We should get the group together and look for her! Thank you! Yeah, I got this! Hey Ryuki! What would you call a gotatsu made out of extra hardened wood? Do they even make something like that? I'm saying if they did. Well, a hardwood kotatsu? Slower! Hardwood? One more time. Hardwood. <laughs> Did you hear something? What? He needs to up his dosage. Get a like, leave a like. Ooh. 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 Thank you, uh, Thal Thalia? Thaliha? Terror for the resub. Thank you, PKK. L Pickle 04 for the resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Du Bois, for gifting out a sub. <sighs> oh, Kizuna, where have you gone? One second. Thank you again, Mr. Du Bois. Thank you, Vomi Tolento. Vomit Olento. Probably Vomi Tolento for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, there's no uppercase letters in there. And thank you, Limbus Patreon, for the resub as well. Thank you very much. Oh, Kizuna, please come back safe. I'll do anything for you to come home safely. I'll pay anything. Please, bring her back in one piece. One piece? That was a good chair squeak there, huh? If I did, I would have told you already. Don't be dense. How can I be? My dearest only daughter is missing. How could this happen? How? The curfew at her house is 7 p.m. If she has permission, she's allowed to stay out till 9 p.m. Uh, that was the case yesterday. She told me she was going to eat dinner with her friend and that she'd be back by 9. What? 7 p.m. curfew and she's 18? You insane? What? But by 10 p.m. she still hadn't returned. I was worried, so I called her again and again. I heard the line ringing, but no answer. After another hour or so, I had an awful feeling. I decided to call all of Kizuna's friends. How did you know their contact info? Kizuna's address book was on the family's shared cloud. Anyway, I called and asked where Kizuna was. But none of them knew. Japan, Joe, that's true, and the yeah. friend she was eating dinner with said the last time he saw her was nine. There has to be something going on. That's why I called the police. You're Ryuki, right? Of the Metro Police? Yeah. Then please, my daughter. Find my daughter no matter what. We have it under control. Please calm down. I'll find her. I promise you. Okay. Thank you. A punch to the forehead. The pacing is boring. 
Oh, never mind. Kizuna, I guess she wouldn't have come here. Oh, it's a hottie. Hey, Aoi. A hottie? Wow. Girl with the big tits, affectionately named by Tama, is sitting behind the desk. Yellow spotted neck turtles, winning, winning. Cash on me, like I hit the lottery. I'm in a relationship with all my bitches, yeah. I love her so much, chat. Ugh, a Tommy again? How about somewhere else? Like where? Hmm, how about Higashi Murayama? But that's so close, and there's nothing there. Now it's cool, you don't have to say it. You want to touch these two big girls I've been growing. No, I wasn't thinking that. Oh, fine. Just for a bit, okay? I'll take them out. Oh. Tachibana oranges! I grew them in my backyard. Wanna feel? No, thanks. I'm okay. When no one's around, I sometimes watch yellow spotted necked turtle videos. Yeah, we know. What is that? Oh. Ugh, ew. It's a nasty bug. Don't let it bug you. <laughs> <laughs> Your laugh hurts me. Well, yeah, she has a great laugh. Excuse me. I'm looking for a girl named Kizuna Chieda. Kizuna? It's this girl. Have you seen her? No, I haven't. Darn. Hmm. Shame we didn't get anything useful here. Ryuki. I know. Let's go somewhere else. Well, this is worth. Like, have you heard about Kizuna, right? I've been looking for her since last night. All I can see is blood. You mean your eyes are bloodshot? Yes, that's what I meant. But I couldn't find Kizuna anywhere. Was we were saying that? How, how did no one stop them from, like, you know what we should make them do? We should make the player go to literally every single location that we've had so far and talk to literally every single character that we've introduced so far. One at a time. Actually, we haven't found T Shoma yet, so maybe that's not true. What? Why would Could you do Kizuna that? Could Kizuna be in there? Mm, nope. Could Kizuna be in there? Nope. She could be. How Let's do check. You know? Yeah. I X-rayed it earlier. What? So I take it you thought she might be in there too. How can you X-ray without Tama being a part of it? What do you mean? You can do X-rays whenever you want. Whenever you want. Hey, Ryuki, deep down, don't all men want to be sat on by women? No. A little bit. Like, just for a little while. Yeah, a little bit. What is Oyster Oyster? It's two oysters from Hiroshima. I hope Kizzy's okay. I need to get back to searching. Wow, these are such a great addition. Of course. Why would you ask that? Oh, because... Oh, the food? They say you can't fight on an empty stomach. I need to fill up before I continue the search. Mr. Oda, oh mighty sea king, your order's up. It's a chair. I talked to all the mermaids. 
I asked them if they knew where Kizzy went, but I didn't get any answers. None of them knew. It was a little past 11 last night. I got a call from Kizzy's dad. He asked me if I knew where she was, because she wasn't home yet. I thought that Mame might know where Kizzy is. I tried calling and messaging her on Nile. Alright, so Kizzy called... Kizzy's dad called Leon and Oda. Or Leon's lying. Hmm. I couldn't get a hold of her, so I came here. I thought I could find her here. Doesn't look like she is, though. Nope. Where's your trident? Anyway, I'm gonna get out there and keep looking. What about your food? Ryuki, do you think that little of me? I put my friends above everything else. I can't be wasting time sitting around eating omelet rice. Wait, you were just eating a second ago. Anyway, gotta get going. Ryuki, good luck with your search. Oh, sweet free food. Eat it. Eat it. There he goes. <sighs> Who cares? Anyway, we should go too. Yeah. Free food. Free food. Let's go see if Hit On Me knows where she is. Why not? Tea at the ready? Nice. What? Please, tell me what's going on. Do you know this woman? She was collapsed in a nearby park. She seemed completely out of it. I wanted to call her an ambulance, but she refused. She wouldn't even let me take her to a hospital, so I brought her here. <laughs> Your cultist collapse? <laughs> Where did he go? Damn, not like this. Why would you see yourself in the mask in your dream? H hold on a second. Can't you see she's sick? No. Psych. <laughs> There's a throwback. Ryuki, how old are you? Ooh. I need to find her. Your Honor, my, my client said psych. Oh, 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 that's true. Okay, that's cool. What? Yep. Where Not guilty. Is the execution chamber? Mm. Execution Which I could read. Chamber. What is she talking about? Wait, could she be... N no, there's no way. Monica? There's no response. It's just the corpse. No, she's not. Her heart rate is normal. It's the mask woman. She's sleeping with her head on Hitomi's lap. She hasn't come back since last night. And you're not she worried? She said she was going to look for a friend. Okay. I'm guessing it was Kizuna? Yes. Uh, probably. Is that why you're here? Yes. I'm sorry. I have no idea where she could be. I see. She said it was her chronic illness acting up. A chronic illness? She was born with a weak heart. And she mentioned something else. She said Some something about everybody. coming into contact with strong electricity. And that made her symptoms worse? What? I have no idea what she meant. She was mumbling to herself. I'm not sure. I just happened to be walking by. After coming here, she injected herself with some kind of medicine she had. It seemed to have helped a little. Nanomachines. She asked if she could rest here a bit. And that's the last thing she said before she fell asleep. She slept with her mask on. I tried taking it off, but it wouldn't budge. It seems like it's glued on. With NASA glue. NASA punk. Ryuki, now's not the time to be hanging NASA... on cougar. Right. <laughs> we need to find Kizuna. Wait, I didn't hit on her. Let's get going. Are we done? After we continue our search for Kizuna. We couldn't find her, not even a clue. But there were some locations we didn't get to yet. 
Go back to the bad pacing. No, my content. Ryuki, what are you thinking about? About Kizuna, of course. Liar. You're thinking about something else. It's almost like you can read my mind. No, that function was deleted about a month ago. Something about protecting the privacy of thinkers. So, as of now, I can't read your mind. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what's causing you pain. I can't tell if it's a joke. The one thing I do I, know I don't know if she's joking. Is that you're taking on way too much, Ryuki. Okay. There's no way you can handle all of this by yourself. And you know it, don't you? You put up a front. You pretend like you can handle it, and it doesn't bother you. And you end up overexerting yourself. Why do you keep bottling it up inside? This isn't something you should take on by yourself. None of this is your fault. You did nothing wrong. It's the world that's wrong. There Joe Jazz is talking about what? impregnation. Oh, I'm I'm, kind, I'm good at that. You want me to choke I one shot you? that every time. What do you, what I you need? That would make things easier. Hey, Ryuki. What are you hiding? If I told you, you would probably hate me. Uh -oh. That's not true. I already hate you. What do you hate about me? You're thick-headed. You're not honest with your feelings. You're an awful liar. You can't handle my sex jokes. And you're human. But it's okay. Even though I hate you... No matter what, I'll... I will... Always... What? This Ryuki, is a weird relationship. A Why, if it isn't your dearest Dante? Yes! Mr. Dante. We're so back. I'm connecting him. We're so back? Hey, Ryuki. Hey. Where are you now? Um, I'm in the car. Metro Expressway 2. A little past the Shirogane pay station. Perfect. That's close. Close? You're close to the Sejima mansion near Azabu. Sejima? The former politician guy? Were we using yeah, that too? got a tip. They said a suspicious man in an iron mask is at the Sejima residence. Again? An iron mask? Terror. Uh-oh. Is this the urn? I'm in the northern part of the city. It's gonna take me a while to get there. So, Ryuki, can you get there first? Yes. And you're Understood. not gonna, you're not gonna go there looking like that, right? Hold your position until I get there. Right? You're gonna take the mask off when you go see so right? Right? Kizuna was kidnapped by terror. So we just need to catch him. Or was she? Tama, the Sejima residence right away. I'm on it. Maybe Kazuna is terror. And just ignore the fact that Kaz Kazuna was in the room while terror was hiding behind the, the partition. Just ignore that. That was a mannequin with the outfit on. Oh my god, could it have been a man? Could, could, could she have taken the outfit off when, when Mame wasn't looking and put it on the Look, mannequin? Ryuki. No way. Iris? She's just sleeping. She's fine. She's having a nap. She's taking a breather. Iris, are you okay? Sunbathing. <laughs> her breathing and pulse are normal. She has a bruise on her head, but otherwise she's okay. Nothing life-threatening. So, Sejima, you! Ah, another guest. Guest? No, I suppose that's not right. I can't call someone who barged onto my property a guest. Who are you? I'm Kuruto Ryuki, Abyss Special Agent. Abyss? <laughs> that tracks. That tracks, yeah. None of you seem to have any manners. Mm. Excuse me, I have to check on my Tamagotchi. What kind of music do you like? Industrial, symphonic, grindcore, death metal, industrial for sure. It's going ping pingy. Oh, we're Hitomi. Hitomi loves loves uh, uh whatever I just said. <laughs> hey Iris, why are you so close? It's Iris. It's no use talking to her. She's totally gone. Give me cucumber. Did I hear something? Forget it. This is more important. 
It's the former, former politician Jackoff Sosajima. Terror? The culprit of the HB case. Do you have a phone? The man with the iron mask. I've never heard of him. Ryuki, I x-ray scanned the whole area. But there's no one. <sighs> I haven't any idea. Perhaps she came to steal my koi. It's a Nishkigoi. They can fetch a fortune. I didn't lay a finger on her. She slipped and fell. I'm guessing she hit her head on that stone. You should let her rest. You can leave her here. I'll have my maids take care of her. Absolutely not! I'm not gonna leave her here! Suit yourself. And expect to be charged with breaking and entering. Do it! I don't care! I shouted over my shoulder as I carried Iris off the property. Fuck you, Sosajima! What the, 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 what? This was it? Wait, I thought we were good. I thought something was gonna happen finally. We just left. <laughs> what? What's wrong, Iris? Back to the list. I, I died, right? Huh? Is this car a hearse? No. It's so long, though. Not all long cars are hearses. Then where am I? But all hearses are You're long cars. You're in a limousine. L l l Lima what? Limousine. Like the capital of Peru? Not a limousine. Wow, this is super cool! I've never been in a limousine before. And now she's full of energy. It might have been better if she stayed asleep. I've never been in a limousine either. I'd like to be in a limo. That sounds like fun. Are there electric limos? Ryuki, how many women have you... Uh, um... Well, none. Am I the first? Yeah, I guess you are. Yay! Number one! What is this woman plotting? I think she's just like that. No, I can sense it. Careful, Ryuki. She's very calculative. Yeah, I thought so too for a while, and then... no. <laughs> she, she really had me going for a while, but then no, no. <laughs> okay. What is this? It's a mini bar. Mini bar. Why do we have a mini Does bar? It have really small bottles? I'm not sure. This is so unnecessary. I know. We should watch a movie. Maybe another time. Best friend's missing, by the way. Terror. HB case. Yes, the man wearing an iron mask. What? He was terror? So you saw him? Yeah. When I went into the garden, he was talking to Mr. Sejima. It seemed like a pretty serious conversation. I didn't want to interrupt. I hid behind some bushes and waited for the opportune moment. What? And you just saw someone wearing a mask talking and you were like, yeah, whatever, seems legit. Uh, you know what? It's this crazy world. I guess so. Is that when you called Mr. Date? Yeah. I thought that if they saw me, I'd be in big trouble. I wanted him to come help me. I already contacted Date and told him about what happened. Thanks, Tama. I also told him we have Iris with us. Thanks, Tama. Got it. I told you I met Mr. Sejima a few times before, right? Man, this this better be leading to like one banger of a payoff, man. What was that line over there? That's weird. Well, he told me, when you need help, just let me know. So I went to him to see if he could help me search for Kizzy. He might not be a politician anymore, but he should still have power and influence, right? He's a big player in the deep throat of the political world. I think she means deep state. I thought he could use some of that power to help us. Mr. Sejima could get a bunch of different organizations to help find Kizzy. That's what I thought anyway. Did you happen to overhear what they were talking about? Hmm? What Sosajima and Terror were talking about. Did you catch any of it? Um... Well... Well? I can't remember. I remember contacting Mr. Date, but nothing after that. I don't even know how I hit my head. I checked her brainwaves. I don't think she's lying. What the fu- What do you mean you checked her brainwaves? 
Since when can we do that? What the fuck are you talking about, Tama? She might have a concussion. That would cause short-term memory loss. No. Not when we're so close. But it's not really like she lost her memory. She just can't remember. You mean... You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. So, who are you, really? I am Tara. You heard of me, haven't you? Ah, the primary suspect of the half-body case. Playing these games with your victims before killing them. How lowly. Is that what you're doing here? Going to toy with me before slicing me in half? You are not killing trash. I just want to talk. Hmm? To trash? Why do you want to talk to trash? You see, I have a favor I need to ask you. You should be getting some guests. Oh, this is a long six seconds. I want you to tell them the execution chamber is. The execution chamber is. Junko and Ashima is. He didn't tell us shit, though. Who's there? Eavesdropping? No, Papa. Man. Yeah. Six seconds. So that's how Iris hit her head. And why she doesn't remember what they were talking about. Oh. Hmm. What is it? Execution chamber. That's what Terra said, right? Yeah. Maybe Kizuna is there. No, I'm sure of it. She must be there. How, how do you know that someone was coming to see him? What? Okay. Even if she is, what can we do? We won't get any more info from Winksink. We should confront Sosajima himself. He has left his mansion and a car. <laughs> Back to him. On the what? The and fast. What? I don't know where he's going, but it's going to be a hassle to catch up to him. Then we have no choice. He's going to the execution Only chamber. Left. Meaning. He's the good Sosajima you know now. I mean. So, we need to go deeper so, into Iris's No, mind. we don't! We don't! We don't! Using we suck! We know we, we suck! <sighs> Fucking hell. I really don't want to do a... Really? God, but no. I don't want to do a Somnium. Let's just follow So. Please don't be Minecraft again. Well, at least this one's legal. Peter's gonna see a log, right? He's gonna be pretty pissed what if he does something without it. What was doing at Sejima's place? So far, we have no idea. But if we find out what they were talking about, of course. That being said, our priority is to find Kizuna. So we need to find out where this execution chamber is, yeah? Now, so already knows where it is. That's right. Ryuki, we're ready to go. <sighs> Say the line, Peter. Wouldn't you Somnium all the time if you could? I already I'm do sure Somnium! I already know this, but the time limit inside Somnium is... Six minutes. I know. All right. Let's get started. I had three Somniums Let last night. Let the sinking night. begin. Mine are 60 minutes. I'm so tired, chat. But you know what? I'm not tired no, of saying thank you Come to there. Henry Wyatt for gifting a sub to Deviant Coconut. Thank you very much, Henry Wyatt. And thank you, uh, Diggs HS, for the new sub. Welcome, Diggs HS. 
Diggs? Maybe Diggs. Not sure. Hopefully it's that. Thank you very much. What are you trying to make me do? I'm just saying come out from there. So come out. Oh, also thank you to Nic Nicola bro. Welcome, welcome, Nicola bro. It's gotta be that. Thank you very much. And I'm asking you why. What's the point? It pumps me up. I need you to do it, so do it. Okay, okay, jeez. I'll do it. Found ya! Oh, this is an invasive species that destroys the ecosystem. <laughs> There's a whole hidden world down here you don't see until you've drained the pond. Ryuki. There must be other dangerous organisms in this pond. Ryuki, seriously! Good evening, good morning, and hello! What's the matter with this him? Will be a brand new series! I'm starting a new game today! The game I'll be playing is... Kusumon Go! Kusei... What? She's talking about that geolocation game for your phone that's been out a few years now. Do 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 never expires and do 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 You look for monsters and items and special locations. You play the game by walking, basically. <laughs> hmm. I won't let you pass. It's so. <laughs> We're gonna defeat him in battle. If you want to uncover the secret of this mansion, you will need to defeat the two assassins and then me. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty out of character. We need to defeat the leader and uncover the secret of the mansion. But in order to battle, we need to gather three Kusamon. We gotta catch three by walking around. Is this some kind of joke? To recreate Iris's memory, we're gonna have to go with the flow here. I guess we start by gathering three Kusemon. But before that... Somnium scan, activate. Burning! So... Are we gonna get a Kagami Mon? Finally, Joe plays Pokemon. Can you imagine how invested chat would get if we did like a, a permadeath Nuzlocke Pokemon run? Okay, first we need to go to different Kusamon points. I would uh, Nigito luck into getting a shiny. Ooh, and then and then it would die. By going to the Kusamon points, we should be able to find some Kusamon. And that's what the wiki said, at least. Let's go to the first Kusamon point. All right, Elden Ring player. Are you looking up the wiki before you play? What the fuck is this shit? No, you figured it out yourself. If the wiki says it, I guess it's true. Oh, okay. All right, let's get those Kusamon and charge the mansion. Okay, let's inspect that first Kusamon point. Okay, then. By gathering three Kusamon hidden around, you can create your own party in battle. What is this? Yay! We're at our first Kusamon point! This is it. So how do you get the Kusamon? Digging? What, are they buried in there? Let's pamper this Kusamon so we can catch it. Pamper? Butter them up and treat them nice, I guess. It's an honor to speak to you! This is that forensics guy. Yeah, the inspector. What is this Final Fantasy music? Join us, Kanaiza. Join us, Kagami. Got it. Leave it to me. Yeah! Pa, 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 pa. Kagami, join the team! Oh, common. Eh. Kagami is just a normal inspector. I wonder if he's strong. Normal inspector. Mm. I don't think he's that strong. Oh, they joined us. We got the first Kusamon. Let's go for a second one. Looks like that strategy worked. I guess it did. We just need two more. This seems pretty easy. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can check your currently owned Kusamon by selecting Kusamon list of the bar on the screen. 
Okay. Can, can I get more than three? The stronger... The stronger... Rare Kusuma might be hidden in unexpected places? Question mark? I'm guessing I can get more than three. Okay, what are you? Kusuma on point. Okay. They're not going to be out in the open, right? We can't pick it up. I should have seen that coming. Why not? Okay, I don't even get past that. Open the sliding door. All the way to the other side. All right. Hmm. <gasps> pewter? Do we want pewter? Do you think pewter will be rare? All right. This one's tucked in the corner. Oh no! Oh no! Ryuki, you have five minutes remaining. Is that Date? <gasps> we want Date for sure. How do we get to Date? It's not opening. Iris did say we need to collect three Kusemon first. Maybe we can open it if we have three. I guess that's typical in a video game. You have to trigger the right flags. Oh, do we need to get three and then we move on to another part of the area and we can replace them? Oh, okay, my bad. I didn't understand this. Alright, so we can't lift up any of the bushes, apparently. Do you require my intellect? Man, who says that? Well, this game is just in Iris' head. Somnium, somnium. We need your intelligence. We need your clothes. I understand. I'm sure I'll be of use. Wow, he's confident. Well, he did make me and the sink machine, so he's pretty smart. Oh, so he did Peter, make you. Join the oh, team. Pewter's rare. Pewter is really smart. He can fight like only smart people can. Like me. Yes, it was very unexpected that uh, Peter was over here. All right, should we go get boss or mama? Let's just get mama, because mama's closer. Oh, hello there. It's Mama from Marble. If I had to guess, I'd say her defense is pretty high. Also, she's a psychic Kusuman. I've got Bonito Flakes. I've got Macho Muscles. Poly Muscles. Oh, macho Muscles? And not just any muscles, the good stuff? I'm all in! Troubled times call for Macho Muscles. That's what Mr. Date used to say. That was orange. I Five star? If macho muscles got him out of a bind once or something. Mama, join the team! Rare. Mama has tons of off the record information. Amazing! And that translates to good stats somehow? I guess her skills are good for this kind of thing. All right! Got all three! Yes! Now we can battle! Where do Golden we go rare. for that? Golden Iris wanted to rare. fight the mansion leader. So You've been playing Hearthstone, Eric? Go to the entrance. All right, let's charge the mansion. Golden common. I like the screen. All right, we got three Kusamon. Let's go to the mansion to battle. <laughs> Defeat the first assassin. Is this really how he acted? 
Well, this is Iris's Somnium. Guess we need to defeat this one first. Our first battle begins! Alright, let's do this. Right. So, because we're, this is uh, Pokemon themed, it's a good excuse for me to, uh, you know, any reason to bring up the best burn I ever did on chat in my whole entire life. Uh, during the cursed music stream, if you weren't here for that, uh, chat could recommend music to play. And one of the songs that was recommended to play uh, during the stream was the uh, Pokemon theme from the Pokemon TV show. And uh, as it was playing, uh, I burned chat by saying, for some of you, this isn't the first time you're hearing this today. What a burn. Oh man, I'm still riding that high. Oh man, it's like three years later, I'm still riding that high. What do you do to maintain peace? Be being friendly with the neighbors? Starting an MPO, okay, MPO. I think it's good, but I have a bad history with it. Four minutes remaining. All right, we're, oh, he's here. We have to defeat him, right? Can we just leave? Let's defeat him first. So, should we fight this? Yes. Fight. Strat strategize, strategize. Oh, no. Wait. Let's think of a strategy. Okay. Okay. All right, what's the strategy? Oh, these are the international mafia members that attacked Iris. That's what it said in the report. So they're appearing here as enemies. These enemies are symbolic to Iris. A lot happened after she was kidnapped, but fortunately she was rescued. If we use the person that helped Iris back then, it should be an easy fight. Uh, so, so Date? Right. According to the records, it was uh, Ota, no, I have to Mona, go get them all. Mizuki, and Date. If Mr. Date was there. Yeah, Aiba was there too. God damn it. God damn it. I didn't know that. Why didn't I pick them all up? We're gonna I, I wanna reset us. now. If you see a stranger, follow him. Oh good. It's Ota. This shouldn't be difficult. <sighs> Crap. Is that a line from an anime or something? I think it is. Wanted to be as, as a light novelist. Want to produce an underground idol. Haggle like a bounty hunter. Well, that's the odd one out. Is that the anime? How about 20% of the prize? 60%. Okay, 40. Yay! Ota join the team! SR. What's SR mean? Oh, that was the reference. Subpar I rare? I love that anime. Hmm, huh. I'm surprised you got it. Not only is Ota an otaku, he's also good at internet stuff. I never knew that. Internet stuff? Is he really? Nyrus' dreams, maybe. Oh, see you later, Kagami. All right, so you can't collect them all. All right, we're going with these three. Good luck. So, start the battle. Let's go. I'm getting a bit do, nervous. Do, 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 do. Who did we get rid of again? Oh, looks good. Now bring it on. Does it? The red is about to appear. Oda, Go! I Oda! choose you. Choose a skill that might be most effective. I see. This is another feature. Weeb it's shit. It's not just about leveling up and punching them. Oda, kick. Use SNS. Oda's SNS. It's super effective. This is a crazy one. Four. Oh, it's crazy. Did the attack work or not? Uh, it must have worked. Defeated the red assassin. Four damage. It's the blue assassin. Wait, there's two. Begin battle. 
Uh, SNS. Man, the World of Warcraft battle pet thing was better than this. Sit. Oh, see, she's dead for sure. Yes. How is it? I thought there was only two assassins. Oh, we're gonna run out of PP at this rate. SNS. Five. Oh no, rifle! Oh, it did one damage. All right, you know what? Do a kick. You're only winning because of Oda, Joe. <laughs> it's because of Oda. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. That was easy. Yay! First victory. What do we need to do next? The best part of these mansion battles is coming up. The Busuma door opening ceremony. Let's go. I guess we're opening one of those sliding doors. Let's open it. So, who are you, really? I am Terran. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, the primary suspect of the half-body case. <laughs> Playing these games with your victims before killing them. What? Oh, lowly. Is that what you're doing here? Going to toy with me before slicing me in half? Hmm? That was a continuation of Iris's wink sink. Not much of it, though. Terra was talking about So's love child. What happened next? If we continue the fight, Iris might recover more of her memory. So are you just like fucking like fucking everywhere and 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 like impregnating women that give birth to horrible people? Like like uh, are you behind everything? Stop having sex so. Like what the hell? Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, this will work. You defeated yeah. the first assassin. Oh, who's next? It is I. Huh? What? Who would have expected this? It's the mansion leader! What happened to the second assassin? Man, we must be close to something really big happening in the story considering we haven't lost viewers throughout this whole entire debacle. If we defeat huh. him, it's over. Let's do it. That's anticlimactic. In order to hatch the egg, entry ends here. So, you what, what egg? Left. What, it's time for egg hatching? What, what do you mean? Okay, what, you're like, okay, we have to, do we battle you or do we go and find, hold on, let's, let's open it. What's this? Open. The Fusuma sliding door opened with the rarity of at least SR. It opened. Let's keep going. Oh, Mizuki's going to be awesome. All right, let's get Mizuki. What's up? It's Mizuki. She's incredible in battle. Even Mr. Date is scared of her. All right, will you come with me? I'll help you with finances. Let's defeat Date together. I'll give you nunchuck. Let's defeat Date together. Sounds good. Leave it to me. I'll break their necks in one shot. Won't even feel a thing. Legendary. Oh, super subpar. Okay. Mizuki fights using superhuman athleticism. Why does Mizuki want to kill him so bad? Probably the porno mag collecting. Okay, who are we getting rid of? Should we get rid of Oda? Get rid of Oda? All right. Oh no, we need, we need Kagami! Now, now. We have three Kusamon. 
Maybe we need a specific Kusimon. What the oh, fuck? Guess that's why. Not opening. I want to hit this developer over the head with a pickle. I want to hit him over the head with cheesy naan. Let's get this over with. Right, you know what? I believe in Mizuki. It's the battle with the leader of the mansion. I'm getting nervous. It's just beating up an old man. What could be nerve-wracking about that? <laughs> you don't have enough lives for this. This guy definitely isn't like this in real life. I almost feel sorry for him. All right, here I go. Open the battlefield. It's the major leader in the flesh. Already. All right, here we go. Begin battle. Choose a Kusaman to fight. Mizuki, I choose you. Punch, kick, it's all in the mi metal pipe. Metal pipe early, metal pipe often. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not not effective. Which is it? Hold on. My kick like a warhead. Bribe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Six money damage. My kick like a warhead. Ten! Yes! Or maybe not. Double bribe. Seven! Alright, you know what? Let's punch this time. Alright, you're dead, right? Yes! Now the mansion leader with a green hat. Yes. Easy game, easy life. We did it! Boy, he was strong. We got to see his true power. He did definitely come across as a final boss. One of these A's. The real Sosajima was a real boss. Now let's go do the Busuma door opening ceremony. Will this help us get more of Iris's memory back? It should. Let's open the sliding door. From Nirvana? Oh, we're not done. God damn it. 20 seconds? You got made a seconds? Thank you to Dev Jimmy Boy for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Dev Jimmy she Boy. She said that if she was allowed to keep the baby, she wouldn't cause any trouble. And thank you to Mertillo Muffin for the new sub as well. Welcome, Mertillo Muffin. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And thank you, Joe's Retinas, for the reso as well. How's it going, Retinas? It is the three-year club. It's 36 months. It is the three-year club. Uh, okay, really? It's it's another... So she sent the child away. It's another kid. She probably realized she couldn't raise it alone. No. She couldn't raise it. Because... We saw more of the memory. But there are still missing pieces. Okay, we defeated the mansion leader, but we still have some time. So maybe we can look for another mansion. This isn't a memory. This is reality. I wouldn't call anything happening in a dream world reality, but... Terra's here right now. Let's go! Look at him, standing there all smug like, this isn't over yet. Iris is so terror. He is the true mansion leader. This is so exciting. Alright, we need we need to find the Amame card. The only person in history that's caught terror off guard. Let's go. If we defeat him, we should be able to see more of the memory. Oh, he's he wink sinking. Tough. Bring it on! I'll crush him. Tama, are you starting to enjoy this? Ryuki, less than two minutes left. Be careful. Okay, can I take him down right now, or do I need to go and get Kagami and go around and get the Date card and put Date in or whatever? Like, what should I do? Do I even have time? 
I want to see Dante's. I do too, but I don't think I have time. Let's just go for it. This is the final boss battle. Let's go! This will be the last battle of the day, guys. Tama, you okay? I'm gonna pound him until he can't get it up anymore. Don't you mean until he can't get up anymore? Open the battlefield! Who is this guy? It's not on the wiki. The true mansion leader. Oh, it's Blue Man! Choose a Kusaman to fight! Alright, Mizuki got healed, right? Go, Mizuki! Yes! Alright, kick is the best. What? It might be working! Or maybe not! Alright, metal pipe then. How come you get to go first? No! All right, it didn't hit her leg. We're fine. Or maybe not. All right, now metal pipe is doing more than kick. Metal pipe again. Three. All right, we're good. We're good. He's finished. All right. Huh? Next one. We did it. Wait, it's not over yet. Huh? Uh oh. Now this is a JRPG. A second form. Very final bossy. This guy's got some moves. Tama, don't let your guard down. I won't. To <laughs> the music, holy crap. All right, metal pipe. Well, it's just the same fight again, but this time with an with an angel wing. Well, we're fucked. All right, let's do punch. Oh, punch isn't very good. All right, you know what? You know what? He has to miss, right? Mama, I choose you. No, mama. Refrigerator? What? Eight? It might be working. Two. Or maybe not. Oh, mama. Choose a Kusaman to fight. It's not looking good, Kusaman bros. It's not looking good. It might be working. Or maybe not. Good. We need to get stronger Kusamon and charge him head on. All right. If we have any weak Kusamon, let's switch them out. Got okay. It. Let's see. We have to go get. We have to go get Date. All right. So let's go. We have to go through here. So you go back and get. We're gonna have to retry. There's no way. There's no way. It's an honor to speak to you. Let's catch another. Which should? All right. Forensics ability. What is that? Hmm. Oh. What? I want to hit this developer over the head with a pickle. I want to hit him over. Th you have less than a minute left. What? Hurry. What the fuck am I supposed to do then? Can I get more than one Mizuki? What's up? Inspect. In we mean inspect. What does inspect do? Inspect. We already got the Kusamon from here. I would like oh, another one. Really? If you want to switch.
Well, we're screwed. All right, you know what? Maybe one of these uh, one of these plants can open. Can we lift any of these oh, up? Yeah. We can't. Should have seen. All right, none of them can be picked up. At this point, we're just retrying. Thirty seconds left. Blind? How am I blind? What am I blind? What's what's blind? Do you think boss is like super rare? Should we find out? What do you want from me? It's boss. She's gotta be strong. All right. Dom P for you. I'll pay you. I'll be your slave. I'll be your slave. Okay. Lick my boots. Hmm. No. You should be saying, as you wish, master. There was a door. Say, it's Tom locked. <sighs> as you wish, master. Good girl. Make sure you practice being a chair, too. Ooh. Boss, join the team! Oh, super rare. All right. Boss has dirt on some major big shots out there. Jeez. Even in this game, Boss is terrifying. I can hear you. Uh-oh. All right, let's get rid of uh, Kagami. Oh. Uh, person who I like became a zombie. Alright. Are we out of time? Ryuki, no. you're out right. of time! Can we get back here? Oh, there's one we can interact with here. Okay, hold on. Break. Oh! The power of the three Kusamon are combining! Alright, so we need right. three Kusamon. We can keep going. Okay, was it not interactable because we didn't have Kusuma three before? Head. It's worth looking around. Alright, so we get we three Kusamon and we time. come over here. Okay. What? So this we grab shouldn't have a time limit. We grab a game, Oda. Idiot. It's a sink. We need to find clues within the time limit. Kagami uh, oh. and boss. Right. And then we run over here and do this. Okay, here we go. I think we just want a full-on retry, don't we? Or we want a full-on restart? Can we retry from the beginning? Oh. Mental lock one. Where's mental lock one? Two, three, two? Let's, let's, uh... I could really fuck some people up right now. I could really fuck some people up right now. All right, mental lock one. We wasted a lot of time. I think a full retry is 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 the is the best play here. However, we might be able to do it with just with just with, the, with this right now. If we do this, we can still restart later. Is this really how he acted? Well, guess we need all right. Right. Four minutes remaining. All right, we can take this guy down right now with Oda and then come back, right? Oda was easy. So, right. fight. We have Oda, don't we? Hold on, did I not get Oda? <gasps> oh my God! Holy shit! Holy smokes! That was close. Let's. Huh. All right, we'll get rid of Pewter. All right, what's down here? Do we go the long way around for uh, for Date? Oh. All right, it's Aiba. Aiba's got to be super strong. I'm the super high tech cutie AI, Aiba. She's Mr. Date's AI ball. She's what I am to you, Ryuki. I'll give you a weevil. You're the best fluorescent shrimp. I need your superhuman genius. Let's fight for justice. I, I, she likes weevils. Yay. Yeah. It's the abnormally long necked Trachalismus tenuissimus. Oh, she's orange. Yes, legendary. Let's 
Legendary! Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright, so we just need to get one more legendary. High speed calculations that confuse enemies. Isn't that so cool? Guess she really does like bugs. What even is this thing? A beetle with a long neck. You know what it is? Wait, what did I'm we need? The Iba and Iris's head reacted to that. It was popular on ViewCube for a little bit. The Tracalismus Tenuissimus Dance Challenge. We needed an SR Talking to get Mizuki, right? What the hell kind of dance is that? Another mystery. All right, so let's get rid of uh, Mama or Kagami. Do you think there's going to be another Kagami door somewhere? There might be. What egg? What are you talking about? Who are you? You're nothing. Is this? No way. It's the hidden boss. Hidden boss? Falco? If we beat them, we might be able to make them a member of the team. They look strong, though. So this Kusamon we need to fight to get to join us. Okay. What should we do? Alright, should we, should we go get Date first and then come back? Let's go get Date first. Date's gotta be down here, right? You have three minutes left. Well, why is this you open now? Ryuki. Oh, when I open the other one, this opened here too? Oh, that's nice of them. What do you need? Mr. Date, if he's with us, we won't have to worry about a thing. Poor Omag. Let's fight for justice. I have some classic material. Help me, into, you into young babes? Hey, I found this crusty old magazine near the pond earlier. I don't believe it. That magazine has the power to shine light on this dark world. What are you going to do with that, Mr. Date? The landscape past the forest. The secret flower garden. The divinities of this world. <laughs> Let's see them together. Together. Yes, legendary. So profound. I want to see Mr. Date. I want to see. Date joined the team. Date solved many difficult cases. He's a highly skilled and reliable detective. Yeah. Really? I mean, his methods aside, he did solve the case. Yes, technically he did. I think I'm missing something here. Okay, let's replace. Okay, will do we need? Let's replace Kagami. What's this egg thing? It's weird. A hidden boss. You need to fight this Kusamon to. Let's fight. Let's fight them. Got it. You almost got it before? Really? Huh. Oh, looks good. Does it? Now bring it on. Thank you, Fungi Ferris. Or Fungi Ferris for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Begin battle. Alright, who are we sending out? Date for sure, right? Go! Date! Choose a skill that might be most effective. I see. This is another feature. It's not just about leveling up and punching them. Aim and shoot. Wild shot treasure. No. Oh, that's just gonna make him stronger. Must have worked. Did we do it? Yay! We did it. Welcome, Birdman. Welcome. F. Who's F? They really didn't tell you? In any case. They're part of the team now. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be of good use. See you later, Date. 
Well, what rank is he? Oh. All right, this is a pretty good team. I'm liking our chances. So, should we fight this? Yeah, let's fight. Start the battle. Let's go. All right, let's use I'm Iba. A bit nervous. Open the battlefield. Tack oh, tackle, tackle early, tackle oh. often. Yes. It might be working, or maybe not. Is it effective or not? Return it's of the not, tackle. Not effective. Which is exact? Somewhat effective. It's the blue assassin. The blue assassin is weak to tackle. I think we should try one of the other modes to see it. Just kidding. Always tackle. Tackle early. Oh no! Okay, let's see one. Hack mode. What's hack mode? More like tack mode. It might be working. Or maybe not. Tackle's better. Alright, should we send F out for the final boss? Probably, right? I guess. Let's open. Ryuki, less than two minutes left. Be careful. Alright, so so we're gonna use Date on, and then the final boss will use um we'll use F. Why are they so like like careful about dancing around like stuff from the first game? If we defeat that's that's Are they trying not to with. spoil the first game in the second game? That's fucking stupid. Go, Date. All right, aim and shoot, treasure. What? Wild, wild shot. Yeah. Bribe. Oh, that would work on Date. No. Oh, we're good. Okay. Aim and shoot. How is that different than what we just did? Oh. It might be working. Okay. What will Treasure do? They marketed this game as an entry point for the series, even if you didn't play the first one. Both of them to think that there's going to be one after this. And that this could be the entry point into that. Okay. What? Oh no! It has no effect! What? Why? Was that not the right attack? What? No effect? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> no, Dante, no! Dante! Choose a Kusamon to fight! Go, Iba! Bernie! Five.
Hey mods, can we have a can we have a poll real quick of which character people prefer? Do they do they like uh, Tama or Aiba? All right, time for F. All right, do we want to save F for the angel phase? If we defeat him, he looks bring it on. Tama. No, just just straight into F. All right. This is the final boss battle. Fight. Let's go. Tama. I'm gonna don't you open. F. Who's winning? Iba's beating Tama. What, what the that? hell? Bad I taste chat. Win. I voted. I'm doing my part. Choose a Kusama to fight. Go. F. No. Yeah, but can it beat gun? I don't think it can beat gun. No. Nope. Broke the game. It's because of F Joe. You would never win without F Joe. Why F and Joe? Do, 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 Hell yeah! Do, 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 do. Ugh, he was strong, but I won. Thanks, everyone. All your cheers and donations help me win. Scandalous. Uh oh, it's not over. Huh? What's this? Beyond the door, there might be some good loot. Let's see. Over there must be the rest of the memory. Let's go. Oh no. Where's the map? It's gotta be this way, right? Yeah, it's gotta be this way. I'm going to open it. 30 okay. seconds? Thank you, Top Lolly, for the bits. I helped Joe in. You did, Chatter. Thank you so much. So? What do you want me to do? So? You want me to burn some incense in front of her grave? No. Then why are you here? What is it you're trying to do? It's my way done. You see, I want a favor, and it's all to I knew that they would come here and they would find you and then the iris would be here and over here and then they would do a Somnium on, on her and they would be able to see what I'm saying to you in the Somnium when they did the Somnium after they got through the Pokemon fight and I would have to be a Pokemon fight and they'd have to get F to give me with the Null Gun. Actually, maybe he thought that we would Somnium so instead. You should be doing something. Yes, sir. And I want you to tell them the execution chamber is in the abyss of nine axes. Oh. What are you talking about? You don't need to know. Okay, it's in the basement. D don't we have people stationed there? No? We don't? The Abyss of Nine Xs. Let's think about it later. We need to get out of here. Fast! It's in the Somnium Got room. It. All right, this was the best Somnium so far. Easily the best Somnium. It was fun. I like the Somnium. Six out of ten for me. I kind of look like one of those uh, Bats 490 videos there. Maybe, maybe the videos are making Somniums go worldwide. 
Wireless Somniums. Huh? Where's Iris? Pewter took her to the medical office. She hit her head, right? She has a concussion. Communal I Somnium. I thought it would be best to monitor her for a bit. Shouldn't you have done that before the sink? Weren't you the one who said, we need to sink into Iris right away? Huh. Yukiko-san inside that place? If I may interrupt. Shouldn't we be talking about what happened in that Somnium? There were some interesting pieces of information. So's mistress had a child, and the kid was sent to Iowan. You know which one? That's one thing, but what I want to focus on is... The execution chamber is... in the abyss of nine exes. Right. If Kizuna really is being held there, we need to find out where it is right away. This, this better be heading but to a good conclusion. how can we tell with that little information? We're over time. We're at 420. Still, it's a lead. I had an idea. The Abyss of Nine Xs. That place is... The Casi... Where is the Abyss of Nine Xs? Cathedral and nice that's it for sure. Moon base? It's in the moon at the moon base. Yeah. Moon base? Yeah. On the moon, in a crater. The bunker called Rhizo 9. Understood. I'll get the rocket ships ready right away. Hold up. Are you people serious? What impression do you have of teachers? Smart, get excited, amazing, shady workplace. The work conditions are harsh, but there are three times a year with no class. What? Uh, round. Round eyeballs. Triangle is scary. Triangles are pretty scary. Divita. I think it's Divita. Huh? Divita? You mean the studio? No, that's not it. Of course it isn't. I think it's referring to Misaton's rooftop amusement park. What do the X's have to do with that? And how is that an abyss? It sucks there. This is abyss. We're in abyss. Somewhere at Sekiba High, maybe. Sekiba All Girls School? What makes you think that? Well, uh. Um. Would it kill you to think before speaking? It's the president's office at Nice Japan Branch. That's right. There are nine axes there. But that room is at the top floor of the building. How can you call that an abyss? Oh, good point. Oh, damn it, she's right. Could it be Horidori Institute? Why there? You think it's at Horidori Institute of Genetics? No. Chat, she's, she's lower down. She's not short. She's lower down. Let's see? Or are you talking about boss? Yeah, she's pretty oh, sure. Oh, come on, Ryuki. Yoyagi Park. I'm certain of it. Based on what? Seriously, why do you think that? Intuition. I don't trust your intuition. Tom is 5'11 and uh, boss is 6 foot, yeah. Yeah. Nine X's. Nine X. Nice. Abyss. Hell. Underground. The casino, which could mean... Damn it. You've got to be kidding me. Tama, call Mr. Date right away. What for? Just do it. Do it. But there was no answer. Oh, you... oh, Ryuki, what's up? I know where Kizuna is. At least, I'm pretty sure. Where? The Nice building. The cathedral in the basement. Man, we probably just interrupted like like a really good conversation between Date and Iba right now. They're probably just exhausted the dialogue tree. And then we get and I was like, You're receiving a call, Date. Alright, bring it up as we're driving. Alright, tonight's Japan branch. Wish we were doing that instead of this. Rocky Adria <laughs> I forgot about that. Yo, Adria. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the door to the staircase was open. What the fuck is well, this? Even if it wasn't, I would have just picked it open myself. I wonder why it wasn't locked. You think it's a trap? Always pays to be careful, don't this you is think? The master of unlocking? A 
Okay, at the what end of the scene, doing here? we're done, okay? You called me earlier, these three were with me. We got together to share information. And he told us Kizzy was here. But we didn't know about the underground cathedral. But you did tell us the coordinates of this staircase. So that's how we all ended up here. We met in front of the staircase. Cross the bridge and ascend the ladder. Who fixed the bridge? Who fixed it? Anyway, Mizuki is right. Oh. We should be extra cautious. You can leave this to me and Mr. Date. We're the police. Huh? You can't be serious. You want us to stay put here? Hell no, man. Kizzy is in here somewhere, right? I have to save her. Hmm? What's up, Date? You've been staring at Ryuki. Are you thinking about your intimate relationship again? Our physical relationship. And no, I just... It's nothing. This is a Let's long segment. Going. How long? How long? Like half hour long? Two hours long? 20 minutes at least? Empty. All right, There's you know no what? Here. Can I press Ryuki, C to stop the auto thing? signal has been detected. I'm not sure if it's Kizuna. Let's go take a look. She must be here somewhere. Okay, I need, I need, I need to to stop. All right, good. All right, I'm gonna go pee then, and then we'll finish the scene, and then we will end the stream. Okay. Be right back. All right, time for a good ending for this stream. You all ready? You all ready? We all strapped in. Are you sitting comfortably? All right. And here we go. Thank you, Smokerin, for gifting out a sub. Thank you very much, Smokerin. Smokerin, thank you very much. What do you mean? 
Kizuna is Amame's best friend. It's my duty to find her. I sense her. Kizzy, she must be close. Oh, this? Well, I wanted to be prepared in case of trouble. I looked all over my place, but this was the closest thing to a weapon I could find. I'm the strongest one here. If anything, you should be the one hanging back. Wait, I'm using Iba's night vision function. Okay. Over there. Oh, six padlocks. Good thing we have the master of unlocking here. Kissy. Oh. Hm, what? Bring it on. I'll take you all myself. Let's go. Date, enemy at four o'clock. Next at eight o'clock. God, stop nagging me. Started to think I'd be better off alone. I am not enjoying being paired with you either. What happened, man? What happened? Just hold on, Kizzy. I'm coming to save you. <laughs> He's so strong. Mizuki, I think you're not right. And then there's us. Yeah, we have one move. Oh, we suck. Mr. Date, thank you. Don't thank me. Just give me a porno mac. Hmm? A porno mac? You don't have one on you? No? Why would I? Okay, Iba, do your thing. Beam some sexy stuff directly into my left eye. What was that for? For making me want to kill you. Oh, yeah? You want to say that again? Hey, yes! Uh! Don't just stand there, you perverted kappa. Hey, I'm not a kappa. But you don't deny the pervert part? Whoa, Watch out! Of course you wouldn't. Huh? Excuse me, that wouldn't work. It has to be a porno mag. If it happened every time he just got turned on, it would happen all the time. Uh, you okay? Don't worry. My muscles are as hard as rock. If anything, that was a good warm-up. But... We don't have any time to talk. First, we need to dispose of those guys. Talking is a free action. Yeah, you have all the time in the I world. Look, it. you're talking right now. We're fine. Who are these people? man be careful man this is going on for a while for something that is not very good huh Throw it, quick! getting some uh, indigo prophecy vibes from this hold Puddle? You fools, it's just turning him on! Alright, hold on. Oh no! Enter in space. Z and C. Up! Down, Mr. Date. What do you think you're doing? Uh. 
It's no good. We gotta fall back. The robots? They're all clones of Ryuki. Kizzy! Kizzy! Uh oh. Uh. Date Bros? Everyone. This doesn't look good. You came. Kizuna's vital signs are normal. Do, 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 she do, do, seems do, do, to be do, do. okay. What? It's okay, Kizzy. I'll get it off you. No, wait. Leon, behind her. Terror. It's him. The culprit of the HB case. Yeah, we know. The man yeah. kidnapped Kizuna. Yeah, for uh, you. Fuck you. What? There's termites. Termites do what? Take time. Like he's gonna see it. What, what do you mean? Just, just like a normal ass gun? It's, it's. No, congratulations! It's now a gun. All right, cool. Pick up the chair. Let's go. Pick up the chair. <laughs> Why did you kill so many people? Oh, I killed them. I... Why? Why? I killed them because I'm like, I... what do you want? What, what, what the fuck is it? Is there? I know. I'm thinking. Don't bug me. We just need to find an opening. We need to buy some time. It's okay. Leave it to me. If I have to, I'll... For Kizuna. For Birger. Huh? What are you going to do? Like, he's further away than that than that recording of those uh, people having that fight on the dock pier that went viral over the weekend. Look, he's so far away! What the fuck? Are you serious? It's okay, Kizuna. We'll keep you safe. Don't worry. It's okay. Please don't worry about me. Please. Just run. <laughs> oh, so this is definitely going to explode. Tears. Oh, shit. Tears. Tears. Who cares about your stupid nickname? What's your real name? About your stupid nickname? What's your real name? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You're kind of awkward, bud. So your name is soon enough. Okay. Initiative. What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense at all. What does a bisected body have to do with Moksha? <laughs> My motives are very complex. What? I'm not talking about that video. <laughs> so what was that video for? <laughs> K 
Izzy saw that video and wound up here. No, actually, I was kidnapped by people dressed in gray. That's right. The video was never to die of this. But what about everyone else who went missing after watching the video? No one went missing. <laughs> yeah, dumbass. You aren't killing the people who vanished? No. <laughs> Oh shit! There must have been an easier way, bro. What? There must have. What? Okay. Is this guy serious? Right, see you later, that's We're not just gonna leave him behind. Said you would do that anyway, though, and they won't leave. But Dante can go too. What do you want me to do? Dance. Me. Stupid. Six. Five. Shoot. What? Just do it. Shoot, Ryuki. Four. Three. Oh. One second. How are you feeling right now? Uh, happy, sad, popping. Don't feel anything. I'm pretty popping. I think. I think I'm popping off. Yeah, relaxy. All right. Thank you. Yep. All right. Cool. Thank you for so much. Oh, it's time frozen? No, Ryuki. Please. It's impossible. I, I can't. Oh, fake choice. I can't do it. Lame. The 
Vote. This does not bode well. This is not bode well. Should have just shot him. I mean, by sh him, I mean like the shot shot boat. He's gonna hit the button anyway. Just shoot him. Is this Tamagotchi okay? I'm detecting five living organisms. <laughs> Terror. <laughs> he ran away. Damn it. <sighs> Mizuki. Is this how she loses her eye? Mizuki. Mizuki. Are you okay? Uh, uh. Kizzy. Someone Kizzy. did a somnium on, on you, Mizuki. Where are you? Answer the prototype me. somnium. It must be down here somewhere. You're missing an eye. How on earth is is Jen not dead? Kizzy! I blocked the explosion with my back. But all the fallen rubble. Wait, where's Date? Kizzy? Kizzy! Kissy Kissy? <laughs> what what happened to the, the locks on her arms and legs? Did they just get conveniently get blown off, but She's fine. Mizuki, are you okay? It's nothing life threatening. But. <sighs> this isn't good. Gen, take care of Mizuki. I'll get Mr. Date. Yeah, got it. Mr. Date! Mr. Dante! Where is he? Is he pretending to be dead? So he... So... Boat thinks he won? Leon the lifely devil is Dante. Where's Mr. Dante? He must be nearby. Keep looking. Dude, you can get the bio signatures. Let's just go. Scan for brain waves. There. It's Date. Oh, he's fine. Okay. Mr. Date. Oh, Ryuki. How did no one die? Thanks for stopping by, but I can't move. Give me a second. I'll get it off you. That's not gonna work. This is way too big for your noodle arms. Just leave me here. Get going. Come on. What are you talking about? What's on you? Here? Are you faking? What? I can't even see it. What? I guess his leg is caught in. Okay. Look at the ceiling. It's coming down soon. You stay here, we both die. But just take this with you. Aiba? I tried talking to her. She isn't responding. I think the explosion might have knocked her out. Can you fix her? I know her base system is on the cloud, but that body is... It's important. It has all my VR porn on it. I took Aiba and put her in my pocket. Yuki, we don't have much time. One last thing. Before. Don't talk like that. Delete my hard Just drive. Listen. Delete my hard Why drive. Don't you tell me one thing. When I called you today, 
I told you a man in a mask was at Tsujima's. And you said, it's terror. How? How did you know? How did you know the man in the iron mask was terror? Yesterday, was it you that ran away, Ryuki? What? No! Uh, uh, why? How could this happen? I... Mr. Date... Mr. Date... I loved him... and I betrayed him! <laughs> Uh, he's fine. Oh no. Explosion route ends. Okay, so hold on one second. Can I go back up to the flowchart, please? Shrink. Escape. Okay, so in this line, didn't we see terror in uh, one of the Somniums? Or in one of the one of the VR um, uh, recreations when we had an x-ray of... Yeah, we did, right? Because, yeah, that's how we know. So what the, what the fuck is the problem? What, what what the what the fuck is that all about? How did you know? Well, we knew because there was an X-ray scan of it. What's he talking about? Hmm. All right. Okay. So I'm guessing there's going to be maybe some way to prevent this from happening by more being here maybe with the nil code that we don't have so what's what's the name then i remember the the last the last name was uh was four characters so it's is it dahlia boat was it six and then and then four i guess it must be dahlia boat okay What's all that about? All right, that's it for me. Like an old duration stream today, damn. And I was really tired too. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow and we'll start Mizuki's line. I don't know how that's gonna go, but we're gonna go here and we're gonna put in Dahlia Boat and see how it is with Mizuki. There's no way it can be worse than this, right? Cause Mizuki's good and Iba's good. So there's no way There's no way that it's going to be worse than than Ryuki and and Tama, right? Right? Anyway, see you later.